What is going on, people? Welcome to Throw Down, episode 303. I'm your host, Tony Polanco, and tonight I'm joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? How's it going? Carlos Romero. Yo, yo, yo. Adam Vale. What up? Brett Murdoch. What's up, people? Brian Monjoma. I just realized that you can, that you can probably buy Demon Souls for the PS3 and a PS3 cheaper than Demon Souls for the PS5. Hmm. You have to break that down after the intro. Uh, all right, and we got two special guests. We're joining. I'm confused right now. Uh, joining us tonight. All right. First up, one of the founders of Throwdown, Mr. Riku Sun One, the only one. What to do, people? I'm back in here. And of course, joining us once again, one of the greatest writers I know. And I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass, man. You're fucking legit, bro. Uh, my good friend Brian Wilson, aka B Will. I had a line ready, then you complimented me, man. God oh, damn he's gonna make him cry, yeah. man. He's he's gonna gonna make hey, it's for real, man. Like, like, yo, no, for real. But I'm, I'm keeping it real right now. Like, your shit right there. Like, I love how deep you get into it. You know, like, I'm, by, by, I'm fucking. I'm just gonna say, like, you wrote this whole article explaining about, you know, Game Pass and stuff and why people aren't fucking with it. I did a similar one. My shit doesn't compare to yours, bro. I'm just being mad, real right now. You know, um, so I respect. Had some time to but yeah, yeah, I appreciate that for real. Yeah, man, it's, it's dope, man. And um, okay, Brian, explain that one to me because I'm lost right now. I caught it. I understood what he meant, but I'm gonna let Brian explain. Yeah, um, I was thinking since Demon Souls on the PS5 is like seventy dollars, right? Yes, I. You can probably buy like a secondhand PS3 and Demon Souls for the PS3 cheaper than seventy dollars. Oh, okay, I got you. Mm, you might be right <laughs> about that. You might be right about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, a couple of things. Yeah, that game is dead. Yeah. Let, me, let me get that shit uh, fixed up here. I'm back on camera, people. Your boy has his PC back. I was with it uh, without a week and stuff. Ooh, that was brutal. But thankfully, Carlos and Manny held it down. You know, you guys uh, got the show without a problem. You know, mostly yeah. without a problem. Mostly without a problem. <laughs> you know, but hey, listen, the show went on, you know, and it was great fucking episodes. One of them was the one with Danny. That's our biggest episode so far, you know, with yeah. Danny Pena last week. Shout out to Danny, obviously. Um, things got things got heated, you know. Um, as um it was as it, bo- um, um, mob hits, he said it was the thriller in Manila. You know, I got my teraflops <laughs> back. You crazy piggy Dan? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm back here. Um, everything's back to normal now, which is cool. You know, I'm ready to talk about some games. But uh, before we start, contest people, contest. So Throwdown is giving away a free next gen console. Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. And yes, I have them. Well, not physically, obviously, but I ordered both of them. So I'm ready to give one away to one of you guys. And as of now, and we posted this on our Twitter, which is at Throwdown Show. You know, if you go to the pin tweet, that's how you get, you know, enter the contest. Um, the contest is going to end on October 22nd. So you have pretty much an entire month to enter this shit, you know, and I think the, what's the question? It was like, um, what is the feature you're most looking forward to next gen? Some shit like that. You go over to our Twitter, you'll see it. Um, we already got a lot of people entering, a lot of people subscribing to us over here on um Twitch and um on Twitter right now, which is really awesome. Again, at the beginning of the year, we had a goal to reach 500 um followers on Twitch. Now we're over 600, which is really dope, you know. Throwdown's growing, baby. Throwdown is growing, mm-hmm. you know. So it's, it's good stuff, man. But yeah, anyway, uh, this was a busy, crazy week. The week, be- this whole the first topic right now on Monday morning before nine a.m. The world just exploded, man. Um, so if you guys saw the t- t- right after our throwdown, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, f- okay. By the way, and Brett, thank you for bringing it because I got to put some context into this bitch, right? Okay. So on throw down your questions episode three hundred two, which was on Sunday. We were asked, do you expect the same level of chaos for the Xbox Series X uh, pre-order launch as the PlayStation one? And we all said, no, because there's not really many compelling games on Game Pass to get people to... I didn't say that. No, well, we did, we did, we did, we did. I did. Okay, I did then, right? I no, said... We, we said uh, because the of majority of us did. Phil, I was, did. Remember, what, what yeah. Phil was uh, yeah. throwing down toward uh, the retailer saying that he would cut their supply yeah. if they went beforehand so that's what we were like yeah that, that's probably why it won't get crazy yeah so it's yeah no okay work. so i said my so my my okay my stance was brett you like that my stance you know <laughs> maybe somebody's not gonna yell at me now um Yo, there you go then that's the magic yeah. word to not get yelled at yeah um yeah it's from the, yeah yeah right bunch of babies and shit fuck you guys yeah 
Anyway, so yeah, so I flat out said, no, it's not gonna be crazy because no, there are no games on Xbox. Nobody cares, right? My my answer changed at 9 a.m. the next day, bro. It changed, man. So one of the biggest things in gaming, the, at least this generation happened. The, yo. Before you announce it, Tony. Okay. What did I say on this podcast? What did I say it would take to get me to uh, go hands down in on a console? Yeah, you said if Sony or Microsoft buys Bethesda, I'm all in. And look what happened. Microsoft bought Bethesda. Huge, huge news, man. Like again, I was thinking like, what? what, what, what yeah, I was, I was thinking like, what is the bigger? What is bigger news in this? You know, I can only come up with one thing. When Sega dropped out of the um, manufacturing business, that's the yeah, biggest yeah. thing. That's bigger than this. You know, it's like fuck, crazy fucking shit. So we're gonna get into it. You know, um, but Adam, you can start us off, man, because uh, I know you were blown away by this shit. What with the the purchase? It was big. It was big. I was really surprised by the amount, though. Seven point what's it? Seven point five billion. Five, yeah, seven point five uh, billion. I didn't even. I I understand they're getting all the subdivisions. You know, the the, the makers. Id. You have Id Bonner. You got the, the what's it? Machine Head or whatever the guys do. Wolfenstein. I get it. But man, that's a big price. So this is. But this is the thing. Because of that price. And then all my, because I got a lot of Xbox fanboys. All my boys hit me up. Oh, oh this is it. We're going to win. We're going to, you know, all that shit. I'm like, listen, <laughs> you got to listen to Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil is all about bringing people together. He is the gaming Jesus right now. This is it. When he did that statement afterwards talking about, listen, yeah, we have the studios and stuff, but we're not forgetting the gamers. He doesn't believe in this whole exclusivity and all that stuff. It messes things up. So a lot of the key franchises that people are used to, so I'm assuming new ones will probably be some exclusive plays. All the ones that people are used to, which I'm assuming has to be Fallout, Skyrim, all those type of things, will still oh, be no. multi plat And it makes sense. Um, they got to make their money back. They no, make no money it's back. not going to be. No, 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 no. It is. It is. Because we even got Minecraft. Minecraft, big money maker. They could have just you killed feel like just that, Adam? It, But they didn't. So I, I have a feeling. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This is it. This is my. I had, Tony told me I had an hour and a half. So listen. So <laughs> when. when, he, yeah. when so everything just points when you see that big numbers and Phil talking about how he wants to do right by the community, by right by gamers in general. He's tired of this, you know, quote unquote console wars. That's not the approach he wants to go with these games. This is it. I think we're going to see it. Maybe it'll be earlier. We definitely know that he said, and this is confirmed. He said, all these games are going to go on game pass and they will be on game pass. So here's the upside. You're like, well, why, why would they do that then? Well, let me see if they have it on game pass. You, you're pretty much got it for free. If you have it in your plan, all those games are in it for free. If it's going on a PlayStation or it's going on, you know, the switch, obviously you got to pay those prices. And people are going to have to pay. So that's going to be the the, the, the flip-flop there. It's like, yeah, you could go ahead and play it on your thing over there. And maybe with DLC, maybe there'll be some time exclusive. But again, Phil is against that shit too. He's not a fan of those things. So if we go by his word and what he's planning on doing with this, I don't think there's going to be much of a difference. Just that when you boot up these games, you're going to see a big Microsoft logo on your PlayStation. Yeah, and no, no, you'll probably see, you'll probably still see Bethesda games. You don't see yeah. Microsoft no, on, no, no. Um, you, what on they do. Minecraft. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, yeah, you see it. Yeah. All right, Brett, go ahead because yeah, I think I'll, you're going to say the same thing I'm about to say. Go ahead, Brett. There's no way in hell they're letting Skyrim and Fallout not be exclusives. They, they, you're reading too much into what Uncle Phil said. He just said they, they, they approached them on a case by case basis. Yeah, that yeah. does no. But then mean. after he was talking about that, it was for the big ones that people are Adam, used to. Yeah. So I'm assuming new shit that probably be you know, exclusive. Yeah. Go ahead, you need, Brett. Yeah. You need you need exclusives. And okay, so it's very clear what they're doing, and it's fucking awesome. They've jumped their uh, Game Pass subscribers by fifty percent in the last uh, just over the summer. Um, and so they're looking to beef up those numbers and nothing's going to beef up those numbers other than, you know, being an exclusive. And even if it's not an exclusive, you're looking at, Hey, do I want to go out and pay $70 for this game? Or do I want to play it for free? He's either going to, you know, if, if it is, uh, not exclusive, it is just to set up to show how much better a deal game pass is. They're not just going to like, I believe in goodwill for gamers too. I believe a lot in what they're saying. I like their approach, but there's just no way in hell the, that that's why you bought these games. Um, and, and Bethesda and Microsoft have had a long history of being super close knit. Sony's been on the outside of this the entire fucking time. So, you know, they're, they're just kind of coming back into the fold. And I, 
very serious. I will bet you money or a video game or something that we could go with a game. Seen. I could see that. that some of these games are going to go because they, they know they're going to make money. It's all about making money. Remember, it's oh. software sells, not consoles. Software sells, and yeah, that but that's would not be the a, a going to... for. They're going for a Who service. Was Who was it that said it was one of the reps over at Bethesda said that is it Skyrim that's the fourteen? What what's the one the monthly, not the Fallout one? You have to pay monthly for one of these things. With Elder Scrolls Online. Yes, he said that one's still going to be on. He said that is not going to have any changes. Well, that's because it's already been out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, but I'm, I, but, but dude, I I, I honestly believe that any new game. Here's the thing: when this originally came out, I was like, okay, I I, I couldn't imagine a new Fallout and a new Elder Scrolls not being on PlayStation Five. But the more I thought about, it, I'm like, no, that actually makes perfect sense because that's how you get more people on Game Pass. Therefore, you get more subscribers. Therefore, you get more money. Right, so I believe honestly, going forward, any new game from Bethesda not coming out of anything but Xbox, I, I I almost guarantee that. You know, um, anything that's already existing, obviously like Deathloop or whatever, that's going to be coming out. You yeah, know, they um, said that. Those are yeah, contracts. but, but and, yeah, and, listen, and, go, and Ghost and Ghost Pass or whatever. Yeah, yeah, go, all that yeah, shit. Um, go, yeah, yeah, all that shit is going to be coming out, no problem. But again, I'm the the more this week went on, the harder I find it to believe that Microsoft's not going to lock those down because that's big right there. No, that's how you get. Lock it down. Yeah, they're going to lock that shit down. Go ahead, Manny. No, I mean I agree with what you what you and Brett. I think that I think they are going to lock it all down eventually. I think they're just going to, it, to be honest, they're going to probably do like, uh, what was it? Um, the, the, the guys that did fallout new Vegas, right? Remember when Microsoft bought them? Well, yeah. Well, th- by the way, a quick, a, a quick thing. Now you could potentially have a new game, a new fallout, new Vegas new by Vegas. obsidian, by obsidian. By obsidian. So yeah. yeah, like, so you have, a, they have obsidian, right? Remember they had that game, that one, uh, their, you know, their, their version, you know, of, of Fallout, yeah, Space Fallout, yeah, come out, that, right? That, that yeah, Outer something. Worlds, yeah. But what are you talking about? Uh, that sold a shitload, didn't no, it? it actually no, no, didn't. no, it didn't. It got great reviews. It reviewed well, but it didn't do well. So, and then even the Switch one, one was broken. But one, but one thing about it is that after this point, you're not going to see that game on any other console. You, they're going to, they got you already with that one. But yeah, now if, yeah, Outer Worlds so too. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's not happening. Anyway. So you don't, you think that the same is going to be with all the shit that uh, Xbox is putting on Switch because they've been putting even their their Ori and all those exclusives. They've been putting it on Switch. So. Well, I mean, the one thing about the one question mark about Ori and um, Cuphead is, um, because Cuphead is also on uh, PlayStation. Yeah. Thing is that those are those are not direct first party games. Those are indie games. But they, they own were just, IP. That were just, no, no, they don't. They, no, they don't. They don't own the IP. They don't own the IP. They don't own the IPs. They all, they, they pu- only publish the games. So if these guys had find managed to find another publisher on another console, that's how they'll do it. So for those games, those are the big question marks because it's like, yeah, they're they're not first parties. They're indies that were just published by them, and they don't own the actual property. That's why Cuphead has all these different. Um, you know this different marketing and stuff like that. That's really un- disconnected from anything that um that Microsoft is doing. Also, Adam, if what you say is true, why don't we see any of the mainline franchises on PlayStation already? Why are we not seeing Halo? Franchises? Why do we not see Halo on PlayStation? No, because they that's their main game. That's never been on there. Well, he was talking about games that were already on there. Franchises that that audience is already familiar with, like Fallout 76 and stuff. I don't think they're going to just pull those games. It's going to stay there. They're going to make that money. No, 76 is going to stay where 76 it is, is going right? to stay. Yeah, 76 that's is going to stay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm but like if, but if they make but if they make Fallout 77, that's going to be yeah, on it, Xbox. Yeah, I know? think I think the one again, the games that have already been sort of signed up for stuff, those things are going to come out. But after that point, if any other future version comes out, they're going to be totally Xbox uh, exclusive yeah. or um, Game Pass. Well, he said that that's where the case by case comes in. See, so yeah. I think they're going to read the audience There's and say, well, they're going to say, all right, let me see which, how many. Units yeah, we don't want to assume here, you know. Yeah, yeah. But that's what he said. So that no, is I know, I know. But the thing is, you know, we don't know what that means. We don't. We, we don't want to jump the gun. And I think it means you know. money. It's all right. I mean, money. you know, obviously, yeah. Yeah. But, I'm just gonna. Yeah. So I'm just saying. If okay. I'm, if I was in a boardroom and yeah. he says case by case, you're talking about money. Which one sold the most? If let's say I don't know Game A sold 100 million units on PlayStation and they only sold like 20 million on our system, obviously that audience really likes this game. That's a lot of money we could make. So mm-hmm. we should think about is this Adam, something that we can make that's exclusive for us. 
But should we open this up? Because remember, he's all about cross-platform play also. That was something else he's been pushing. So he's trying to just spit everything together. And we'll see, gotta, we'll see how that plans out. You guys also have to take, to, take into consideration when it, came, when it came to, especially last generation, uh, this whole uh, time exclusive thing. Xbox were the, you know, Microsoft was the company that really pushed that time exclusive thing. And then they kind of slowed down on it in PlayStation. This gen has been about the time exclusive thing. Um, I, I agree with Adam in regards to uh, even when it comes to the newer games, there is definitely a chance that you still will see them on PlayStation, just not day one. You're going to yeah. see them on game. You're going to see they already announced that these those Bethesda games are going to be on Game Pass day one. And that's great for everyone on Game Pass. You're not going to see them on PlayStation day one or even mm -hmm. year one. And that's how they're going to use Game Pass, you know, to push, you know, the sales and whatnot. So I agree with everyone here. Yeah, this is definitely great for Game Pass and pulling people to Game Pass instead of, uh, you know, buying it on PlayStation. Because obviously when you if you have a PlayStation, you have an Xbox and you see like, freaking what's the next Elder Scrolls game? Elder Scrolls 7, six, whatever, six, whatever. Six. It will be six. Yeah. yeah. When, whenever Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. And yeah, like Adam said, it's going to be free on Game Pass. And Adam said, yeah, you might have to pay for it on PlayStation. I don't even think it's going to be on PlayStation year one. It's going to be free on Game Pass day one. And then everybody's probably going to pay play it on Game Pass. And then um, year two or year three, when it does come to PlayStation, kind of like that Tomb Raider uh, situation, yeah. not that many people are going to give a fuck about it. And the people that, you know, wait it out, they're going to they're gonna buy it. And that's going to be money. Uh, you know that whatever money they made off of that, that you know, obviously will go to Microsoft anyway. I think that's how they're going to handle it. They're de I don't. I don't think they're going to exclude the PlayStation guys forever because, like Adam said, they're because just like what Adam said, um, Microsoft isn't playing the whole pulling people away from PlayStation over and over to Xbox. That's kind of what PlayStation is trying to do. But I, I Microsoft, think, think no, let me finish. Let me finish. Microsoft isn't, Microsoft is trying to get everyone on Game Pass, regardless if you have an Xbox or if you have a PlayStation or if you have a Nintendo. They want everyone to get it. Remember, they, he was they, like, they don't, you, they you don't need an it. But, phone or tablet. And get no, the, their, their, their motive is to get everybody that owns, you know, regardless of what you own, on Game Pass, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of what you have. Yeah. So right. that's that's their they're not trying to pull you away from PlayStation or Okay, I know, PlayStation dude, you gotta give me a chance to cut in here and you're covering too many topics with no chance for rebuttal. What I was just trying to get to the end of my point, which was Okay, go ahead. Right there. Yeah, no, it's right there. So go ahead. Um You guys are still thinking this is a product. This is not a product. Xbox is, is pitching a service. Why in God's name would they take the exclusive thing that probably makes you want to get Game Pass even two years later? And really, yeah, I, I realize that they like money, but you, know, you look at it, they care more about pulling into their ecosystem than they do about making money. They could have made way more money on the down payment monthly uh, monthly payment Xbox, but we did the math and we found out it was little more than the price of an Xbox plus a Game Pass. They weren't making huge money on that. They could have, but they're not. Their moves have shown that they are more interested in drawing people into a long lasting ecosystem and, come, and becoming the Netflix of gaming than pushing. Sales you just numbers. answered your own question. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's a service, and that's what we're talking about. They yeah, we're not, yeah, I know. I, you you, you said that we're presenting it like a, like a product. No, we were yeah, we were it. we were saying that. Hold on, I'm not done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let Brett finish. Come on, come on. Let Brett finish. Come on, you guys. I gave you a chance. Yeah, um, you guys. Right, it was up to Manny. Fuck. Don't take it personal. This is where Microsoft is going to leverage getting Game Pass onto PlayStation. That is the end game. So why would they put up put these things for sale when they want to say, "Hey, the only way you're getting uh, Elder Scrolls is if you put us uh, Game Pass on PlayStation." You're relying on no. uh, Sony to do that. Come on now. And and and, and but they don't also, need Sony to do that to get on yeah. PlayStation to yeah, get it on the PlayStation. Apple. Yeah, they Absolutely, do. they need Sony they, to get they, on, yeah. on it. And you and you got to take this into consideration. There's the reason why sony even started this whole playstation plus collection thing even though it's nowhere near as big as game pass that is what they uh, th they created that as a starting point to slowly but surely probably build up their own version of game pass on playstation side so i highly doubt that microsoft if microsoft said hey can we put game pass on playstation 
that would be in direct competition with what they already have on their side. Isn't it? That's, I just don't see that happening. Yeah, well, that's what, good, I, I, I can see people getting this service if they don't even have a console. Just have an Android phone or a tablet or anything that can run xCloud. There you go. Get Game Pass. You got all these games. You have a controller. You just need a Bluetooth controller. You got to have fun. I can see a lot of people. Doing yeah, and stuff. again, if you have Xbox Game Pass on all these devices, how do you bring people to those uh, to the service with games, Bethesda games, like yeah, that? You know, you lock you those motherfuckers down, and that's oh, it. Don't make them available on PlayStation. That would be just a no. bad business move. You know, want to make money though, because then people are they saying, are going to oh, make money. Because remember, remember, so paying sixty or seventy dollars here, or I could be just paying a fourteen a month. Yeah. Yeah, but think I about it. you got to see you got to see it from from Microsoft perspective. It's like, okay, we could make um X amount of dollars on you know by having it on PlayStation or have recurring subs. Recurring subs make up a lot more money, you know, than, than single game sales. You know, right. if you take it all into account, you know. So they that's openly what, said, and we saw I'm, the case by case. They didn't say. Oh no, they did. By the so way, they, know, take you know take that take that with a grain of salt. By the way, take that with a grain of salt. Don't take they're it. They're not going to. They're not going to. Think about it. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not going to. They're not going to flat out tell you no. They're not going to do that. You know. No, they're not. They're not. When they bought Minecraft for over a billion dollars, that's the first thing everyone said. Oh, that's it. It's exclusive. This is it. And then they're like, no, we're leaving. No, it. because Let's Minecraft go. was already out. That's the point. That's understand? what I'm saying. All these games are already Okay, out. Adam, you're talking franchises. Yeah. Tony is talking games. The games that are out and the like, Elder Scrolls Online, because it's already a thing, will continue to be multi-platform. The contracts that they've signed will continue to be multi-platform. But just because Elder Scrolls as a franchise has been on PlayStation twice does not mean that microsoft owes that franchise to the fan base and is therefore spending almost seven billion dollars just to make sure that what playstation doesn't make an exclusive like what the fuck did they spend the money on if it wasn't to buy these titles and they're not buying these titles yeah. for the good grace to leave them open to everybody you, you no but adam here's a whoa, 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 adam 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 let me finish because I, I didn't jump in calm the fuck down you know by the way damien I, uh, by, yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you know, you've been talking this whole time. Um, by the way, Damien, shout out to he's like you. You all want these games to be multi plat Who's y'all? Like, I don't care about that shit. Yeah. You know. Um. So anyway, hey, Damien, I got something to tell you in a bit. Yeah, but Adam, you're talking you about Damien. Yeah. You, by the way, you're you're talking about money. You're right. How does Microsoft make more money? They make more money off keeping the games locked down. That's how they make more money, bro. Tony. That. That's not how it happened with Minecraft because that was the same question. But we're not that talking about Why that. You lock it no, down? but that's a different that's, situation, that's man. A different we don't Sorry. know this is. You even said it. We don't know. But yeah, you're assuming money. they're going to be multiplayer. Oh, but Spider Man isn't on Xbox. Gears isn't on PlayStation. Oh, I don't understand where your mind is coming from. I said the same thing that we all agreed on. That he says a case by case. They didn't say flat out no. So yeah, obviously, again, but take that with a grain. Yeah, get, take that with a grain of salt. Bro. All right, but that's what they said. So all I'm doing is repeating it. Okay, you that's fair enough. But just take that with a grain of salt. Um, yeah, Tony. Is, is uh, Tony. like I said, when I was saying in regards to you guys are talking about locking it down, keeping it on Game Pass, and you know, don't it's probably never going to come to the PlayStation. But I'm I, the perspective I'm seeing it from is like I said, Microsoft's main seller, and they're all of their eggs are in the basket of Game Pass, and the price behind it is what entices a lot, if not almost everyone, to get Game Pass. When it comes to someone on the PlayStation side, or even a gamer, when it comes to a game that they don't have on their um, platform or whatnot, some people might go out and get that other console. But most people, they're like, "Oh, well, that game is over there. I, I guess I'm. If it's not on PlayStation or you know whatever their console choice, I'm probably just never going to play it." And then, uh, you know, freaking five years later, when it actually does come, oh, they, oh, now they're interested in playing it and whatnot. There are people out there that they will not get, like, let's say Max, Mass Effect, for example. A lot. Of, there's a decent amount of PlayStation people that did not give a fuck about the franchise, but when it came to PlayStation, now they want to play it. You know? Okay, so Rico, why wasn't Ghost of Tsushima on Microsoft on Xbox then? Like, if you if you are saying that exclusives don't work and companies make more money by releasing games across multiple platforms, why do neither first person or first party studios release multi plat games and keep them exclusive? Because, I, I got because do. both of them have a different mindset. My, that's a different mindset than they have now. No, no. I'm saying PlayStation's mindset is keeping their exclusive locked and hoping that people come over there and you know buy their console and you know get enticed by their 
exclusives. Microsoft's is Microsoft's narrative right now is to get everyone, regardless if you have whatever console on Game Pass, <laughs> because it's cheap. They don't give a fuck if you buy an Xbox. Nope. Yeah, okay, no, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Set me a precedent. Tell me a game that is Microsoft developed and multi-plat released. Minecraft. Besides Minecraft. No, 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 Microsoft, no. Okay. Come on, That's, Adam. That, it, not, I don't know. He said any game. What the fuck? Oh, no, Microsoft <laughs> developed. Not just it was turned Microsoft after it was made. A billion dollars for that one. Adam, what that game was not developed Microsoft, Microsoft. Yes. Develop. I don't. I don't. Adam, I Adam it's develop. Adam, Adam, develop, 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 not own. Develop. Come on, I man. I don't think giving so a. It, it I don't think giving a game. Still if you talk to anybody, that's no, it's it. not in the house. Adam, it was made by Notch. It was not made yeah, by Microsoft. If, if they own it, if I bought your shirt yeah. and you say whose shirt is that, it's fucking Adam. You, okay, okay, you're doing this shit on purpose right now, bro. Before you mention something, battle time, duel time, Adam. What name one game that was built that was developed by Microsoft and then released across all platforms? Name one I'm game that still developed that made it to PlayStation. I bet Adam, you you're not answering the question, bro. You're not answering the question. I don't need to answer. Oh no! The by the way, I could answer the question. There I'm isn't right one. Answer. There isn't yeah, one. The, the answer is there one. is not. You're basically. Did you make? You're make, I can't you're, believe you're basing this off a situation. Why do you hate Microsoft so much? Why do you hate Wait, so Adam? You're what? you're Adam. On, you're, you're diverting, Adam, bro. You're diverting. I'm right diverting. Adam, 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 you Adam. From? I'm telling Adam, you, what you're talking said. to the guy that just pre-ordered an Xbox instead of a PlayStation, you. dude. I'm okay, Adam, oh Adam, 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 you're being silly right now. Okay, you know what? Be, be, bro, can I, can yeah, I, can yeah I Adam, Adam you know, you're taking this fucking thing seriously right now, bro. This is. I, yeah. I, I say to answer your question, Brett, is besides the point in regards to. No, that, no, right. it's not. You guys are making up something based off the idea. No, based I'm not based making up. I'm not making one line in a tweet. Yes, line in a tweet. Brett, yes or no? Yes or no? Is all of their no? Yes or no? Is all of their bat eggs in the Game Pass basket right now? Essentially, yeah. Do they want every single gamer to own Game Pass, regardless of what console you have? Yeah, and if it, Game Pass comes to PlayStation, that was the point I made. But until it does, no, it's you, that's the thing. You don't need you don't need it to come to PlayStation. Don't you don't need it to come to PlayStation with it literally being everywhere else. A lot of people who own a PlayStation, there's a high chance they either have a phone. Or a PC, or you know, exactly. or they so probably get that Xbox series. That's what we were saying. Riku, we're you're making my point, gonna get bro. We're going to get Game Pass regardless. They don't. It doesn't need to come to PlayStation. Yeah, that's not. No one's talking about that though. Who, who gives a shit? They can make more money without it. You know? I, I, uh, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, bro. Actually, no, hold on. We'll actually, B will get in here first, and then Chris, you could jump in. All right. So, so going back to, I want to answer Brett's question because he was saying that. Has any game ever come from Sony to everywhere? And the answer, of course, is no, because Sony is stingy. And really, the big get this generation, this became the digital generation, not because every game is digital, but because digital purchasing has just been ramping up and up and up. And when they did that, both when everybody did that, whether it was Steam or Microsoft or uh, PlayStation, they cut out retailers, they cut out manufacturing, they cut out um, having to design, you know, the box art and the plastic and all of that shit and shipping. And they saved a grip of money and they got it all back in their pocket. The same way that Amazon like gives away little Alexa things and Apple wants, you know, your phone microphone on all the time so they can sell your data. Micro, uh, Sony just wants to be the box that you play Fortnite through, that you play Destiny 2 through, that you play uh, any other free-to-play game with a bunch of microtransactions because all they have to do is be the box you play on and they get 30% of everything that gets sold there. So if Fortnite sells you know, $10 billion worth of bullshit over three years and half of the people who play Fortnite are on PlayStation, I'm just making up numbers. I don't know what they really are. Then 10 billion, half of that is 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 uh five billion. Sony gets 30% of that for doing what jack shit. All they had to do was make sure you had the box. And the way to make sure you get the box is to have the games that you can only get on the box. People spend like what 10% of their time playing Sony exclusive games. You can't play them on end, they don't have games as a service, they have outstanding singular experiences that make you go, I gotta have that box. And the gimmick is you're going to do other shit on that box. And that's where they get you. Well, not you. They're getting everybody. 
<laughs> the, the every developer who's putting something on there is giving money to Sony. So as far as why Sony's doing that is because they don't have a Microsoft office to sell to people for a monthly subscription for the rest of eternity. Nobody else is using anything but Microsoft Office. Has anybody pulled up a word perfect by Corel to type uh, something I up? I stopped using uh, Lotus Notes a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> but see, but I use Google like, Docs, making... sir. They y'all ain't use this shit. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say something real quick in regards to the, the whole narrative thing that I was um, saying that each of the companies have. Um, in regards to Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Zero Dawn coming to PC, a lot of a lot of PlayStation guys were angry about this. And one of the main reasons they were angry is because it's not really Sony's that that doesn't follow Sony's narrative up to this point in keeping PlayStation exclusives on PlayStation and only on PlayStation, no other fucking platform. They said they were testing the waters to see how it works with Horizon Zero Dawn and putting it over there. That what makes you think when it comes to let's say like i said the next skyrim um first of all when it comes to horizon horizon already made its money in regards to it being on playstation so them bringing it to pc obviously was for more revenue they already made their buck on playstation they brought it to pc and made you know some more than it, it would have made you know with it not being on pc at that point in time when it comes to like i said those uh newer Bethesda games that Microsoft will be producing, like I said, I do feel that they're going to follow that narrative of it being on Game Pass first and it being on Game Pass, it, it sells a shit ton on there, and then once the sales start to slow down, which probably will be a while because you know how these Elder Scrolls games work, what but when sales? they do eventually... Huh? What sales? They're all going to be playing free on Game Pass. How are you, What metric are you measuring these sales by? Do you have a point there, but yeah. I still think eventually it's gonna come to PlayStation. That's you just assuming. Oh, uh, I, just, I, I, uh, just, uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead go, no, you go ahead, and then Chris needs to jump in here. I was thinking. So I do think they're gonna sell it on PlayStation, and the reason why I think they're gonna sell it on PlayStation is if if PlayStation sells all their games for seventy bucks, right? New games are seventy bucks. Like Adam is trying to, he's he's hitting at the fact that there is so much familiarity with elder scrolls and with fallout on the playstation install base and we don't expect playstation's install base to be bad this time around so you're potentially by the time a new elder scrolls or fallout comes out you're going to have 50 or 60 million uh consoles out in the wild going all right we're just going to keep this on our console so you got to have an xbox you got to have game pass on your phone you got to have a pc there are 50 to 60 million consoles just sitting right there and you get 70% as the publisher, you get 70% of every sale. That means if it drops at 70 bucks, you get 49 bucks a pop. 49 bucks for every time that thing gets sold. You don't have to ship it anywhere. You are making money. I, I don't know the exact $15 a month to have them on the service. I don't know. Were you going to have 50 more Game Pass members that are on PlayStations paying $15 a month? I, I don't know. I, I mean, there's some overlap there. So many of I think everybody in here who wants one wants the other and is probably going to get both anyway. But the financials there work out to be it's really hard to ignore that much instant cash. You don't have to wait a few months to get that money. It's going to be in your hand because there is a ravenous fan base on PlayStation that just wants to play a bunch of games. And I don't think Microsoft's going to turn down that money. Change though. Let me ask you uh, what what changed then since between uh, we're not putting halo on playstation and now i think what changed and this this is just me this is i'm with you brett in the sense that i think in 2030 we're gonna power up our playstation sixes and there's gonna be a game pass app on it that's what i think i mean hell I'm, i might be wrong but i think we're on the way to that because oh i agree i agree with that yeah because i think microsoft lost the console war in 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 so many years so it's been since 20 years it's been a 20 year battle i think they lost the console war but i don't think gaming is going to be about consoles here pretty soon i could see them getting out of the console game and just being a game so we just own these games do you want these games yes or no yes and at that point they'll go cool you got to have game pass on your system anybody who owns 
you know, maybe they'll sell something like a uh like a, a roku box like something small that just has the streaming capability and it's like that's it you're getting the service that's all you're getting we're not selling you a box go build a pc we want yeah, that they- windows license money and and that's and that's their next step so i think the reason they don't want to put it on sony before was we need to sell boxes but now it's like listen we we're making a grip of money whether we sell the box or not so let's not cut people off from it so that later down the line in six years we can go oh you can have it back now why you want these people to love these franchises because you're gonna sell them these franchises pretty soon without a box that's what i think like i said playstation plus collection would not exist if game pass wasn't this successful yeah Uh, real quick quick chris get in here man what are your thoughts oh well i mean i i I can understand where brett's coming from uh with the the exclusivity because there's uh there's a, there's always going to be the the corporate side wondering if they how many people can they get to adopt if they ho- put things exclusive versus are they losing revenue because people will not move to another platform if they i, I won't say hold the titles hostage if they just if they <laughs> they funnel them just to Xbox and PC how many people can they get to convert Versus just going, all right, we'll just license the game so they will play, pay us and you, they can have it just like uh, Adam was saying with Minecraft. And, and But there, there's, there's a precedent for both, right? So uh, through the years, different uh, game companies have vied for exclusivity with certain titles. Capcom did it with Nintendo with the Resident Evil series. On the GameCube, they had a four-game deal to keep them exclusive, which Capcom broke because they were selling so badly. Mm. That actually put Resident Evil 4 was the first exclusive for GameCube and they broke that deal and put it on, on PS2 just because PS2 had like quadrupled the, the freaking install base, right? And Resident Evil Zero didn't re- um, didn't sell much either. They didn't port that. They kept that exclusive, but they just broke the deal and just said, all right, we'll put it on, on Sony, all right? And, um, you know, and how kind of uh they, sh- they shifted Monster Hunter. It's usually with Capcom. They, they shift around. Square move from nintendo to to playstation as well but there you know there's also a precedent for microsoft now doing um cross-platform because i would consider double fine now um a, a microsoft developer they're wholly owned by microsoft and psychonauts 2 is going to be a multi-plat game it's not going to be exclusive uh so so they have an interesting uh moves here and then they have a whole bunch of tiles think about it like it's a it's a huge deal 7.5 billion dollars that's more than disney spent on marvel that's more than disney spent on lucasfilm a tremendous amount of money for an acquisition um so you know it's like those so those ips are valuable right they, they think they're like doom and fallout and elder scroll and whatever uh, what was that uh star thing it's, I oh, don't know. Star, it's whatever. Um, yeah, Starfield. Starfield. Dishonored, Starfield. Yeah. Wolfenstein. Right. Right. All, so all they see, see value in all of these things, but to hold them all uh, exclusive, I think, would uh, hurt them more than help them. So, I, I mean, I could see some of them. They'll they'll probably uh, do like Riku said, like uh, Year One. It's on Game Pass. It's on here, and then <clears throat> we'll trickle it out, and then you know, throw a bone to Nintendo <laughs> once in a while. But like. What would be the advantage of holding Doom, the third Doom game, to Xbox permanently, right? I don't see an advantage to that. Um, because uh, the multiplayer potential for that is something you want to adopt everywhere. So, in, in, in But that's different from like an Elder Scrolls where that's like a completely single player experience. And they may go, ah, you know what, Elder Scrolls 6, that's, that's ours now. You know, we're just going to hold that aside but maybe fallout they're like ah but more people like this and that and then maybe the next fallout has a multiplayer aspect well like uh, 76 maybe they integrate that stuff into the next main uh five and then they go oh well okay so we have this multiplayer aspect so we want to put it out and you know they may throw people bone like rocket league or whatever and just say okay we'll we'll license it out everywhere so that that's my thinking on that There, there has to there has to be a give and take and they're not, and and this is uh, thinking in terms of like, you know, Microsoft's a Western company, so they have a different mindset about the the field and the industry versus how Sony thinks of the industry or Nintendo, which is very insular, right? That's a Japanese way of thinking versus uh, 
Microsoft. So I think if you were if you had this reversed, if Sony had bought Bethesda, that that's it. That's would be on PlayStation exclusive mm -hmm. forever, and they and they may trickle it out to PC, and that would be it. So you would have a completely different conversation. But with Microsoft, the conversation changes, and I think they have a different mindset going into it. So I, I somewhat I am defending Adam somewhat in in this case. I think that they I will agree. on a case by case basis. Uh, make those multi-plats. Yeah, Manny, get in here. Eh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, man, it's hilarious. Um, all right, anything? Brian, get in here, man. Which one? Uh, oh no, you're Brian. Uh, B will remember. I don't. I don't call him. I don't call him Brian. I call him B will. You're Brian. You're the original. You know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, the guy, the guys in the chat are literally trying to figure out who is the throwdown guy, like who's typing in the chat. I thought it was pretty obvious, but I'll keep you guys guessing. You know, um, uh, the clue is the motherfucker who's typing while the other guys are talking. You know, um, <laughs> it's like, yo, oh man, go ahead, um, Mister Manjoma. I thought it was pretty cool that they just went out and just just went in balls deep because they just did not care. Like, and the funny thing is that none of these so-called insiders talked about this. Like, they were all talking about, like, oh, yeah, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, you know, Silent Hill and the PlayStation thing with Jake and blah, 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 you know, and then this just dropped and everyone's like, oh, that happened. Like, oh, I, I guess some of these insiders aren't really insiders. They're just people that talk shit on the internet. <laughs> but anyway. Um... <laughs> Hold on, Brian. So you're trying to tell me that Microsoft is not going to buy Sega? Is that what you're telling me right now, bro? No, it's not. I'm sorry, probably <laughs> but not. Brian, it showed the little Japanese girl putting the X beside the box. And didn't you notice that the that the shock blue controller is the same blue as Sonic? I'm telling you, man, it's happening. It's <laughs> anyway, just, I'm sorry, I'm sure. Go ahead, bro. Signs are everyone. Bunch of conspiracy theories. Um, I thought the whole thing was really out of left field. Um, it's it's interesting that they would. And my take on the on the exclusives, I genuinely am not sure. It makes. Again, with the way that Game Pass is set up to be and the push to put stuff on Game Pass, I would assume that they just say, hey, just put everything on Game Pass. And since Game Pass is on everything but our competitors, then we win. So I would assume that they would not go out of the way, but put things in place so that there's like a gap between the Game Pass launch and that the PS5 or PlayStation X launch. So that way... Everyone that likes it will just say, okay, I'll just get it on Game Pass. Oh, Game Pass is on Xbox. Um, I, have, I have a PC, I have a phone. So, boom, just get Game Pass and thanks for one. So, that's my thoughts on it. Um, but apart from that, I think it's just funny that everyone just lost their mind and started making up like conspiracy theories like, oh, Max, um, Sony should buy Konami so that they have like Metal Gear and all sorts. It's like, wow. People are really upset about this. Yeah. That, by the way, I'm glad that's a good little segue to that. Like the the other side, because a lot of people are saying that, um, oh, um, what is Sony going to have to do to counter this? What are they going to do? Bro, listen, my, they, Microsoft spent seven and a half billion dollars. Sony is only worth eight billion. They ain't spending that kind of cash. It ain't happening. You know um, what I think is going to happen is Sony's going to do what they've always done. They, they're going to buy exclusives and shit. Keep them locked down. As long as as long as Sony keeps doing what they're doing, which is just releasing the best games out there, they're going to be fine. You know, but no one can deny that this shit was pretty fucking monumental. Like, again, I, I, I've been following this industry for my whole life. Basically, it's like I've never seen anything this big. Microsoft, you know, and I've said this on Twitter many times, right? Microsoft utilized its biggest exclusive money. They they could have done shit like that for a Batman. long time. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they they pulled the Bruce Wayne. It's like, yo, Batman wouldn't. Let's just be real. Batman wouldn't be Batman without money. You know, so Microsoft wouldn't be Microsoft without money. So, uh, this was a huge bold move. I I applaud them. I'm like, this is great. Do what you got to. I see this is the type of shit I personally live for. I love seeing this type of shit in the industry. Like just big crazy ass moves. You don't really get too much of that. People like to play it safe, or whatever. This was fucking crazy. You know. I agree. Right. I mean, I mean so much enjoyment. Uh, what happened, Brett? I, I just agree. Like, I, yeah. there, there's, like, you don't see a shakeup like this. And no. the first, I, I even told you, it was like, we might actually have a console war on our hands yeah. now. And, and I'm glad you said that because that's the thing. Let's just be honest. This generation, there was no console war. Sony murdered. Actually, no, excuse I'm sorry. Sony didn't murder Microsoft. Microsoft committed suicide right at the gate. Oh, right just, at the gate. Right yeah. at the gate to commit they suicide. Themselves. Yeah, they hung themselves. That, that There was no contest at all, right? With this, because, dude, I'm, think about it like this, right? I'm just being real right now. A lot of guys that follow me on Twitter are a bunch of ponies, right? These motherfuckers are saying, shit, 
I got to get an Xbox now. <laughs> this is serious right now, you know. So this type of shit is is good, man. I, I, I it's cool seeing that. That, wow. it, but, but the thing, and this is what we're talking about when it comes to competition, right? Sony is going to do something, right? We just don't know what it's going to be. Obviously, not going to do anything crazy like you buy Ubisoft. They can't afford them. They can't. Yeah. Sony cannot afford to buy a Carlos, studio like that. You know. Carlos, timestamp. Don't buy Ubisoft anyway. Uh -oh. What? What timestamp? Oh, Carlos, Sony timestamp. buying Ubisoft. <laughs> no, Carlos, timestamp. How do you did the thing? Forty forty nine minutes and uh, twenty six seconds. There we go. They gotta have something. Oh, okay, gotcha, oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I agree with that, and <clears throat> like yeah, and I saw the whole Konami thing going on, which I thought ridiculous. was ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. how is that a counter move to buying Bethesda? I didn't even understand that. Like, no. what did somebody spit a dial? Like, they should buy that. Like, doesn't make yeah. any sense. No, well, it's it's all the fanboy stuff. I mean, it, me even uh, me being the one, probably one of the biggest Metal Gear fans on there. Even I'm saying no, it ain't happening. It's not. Well, it's it ain't the stuff. same company, man. What they what, no. what, Sony wants pachinko machines. Like, I'm gonna say I'm doing? I'm gonna say this to you as somebody who's actually fucking worked there. Oh, shit is fucking hard. Oh. Mm. Harder than you fucking think. <laughs> Damn. Shit that sh shit that you think is should be simple is fucking hard there. So I'm not gonna go into detail into any of the stuff that's there, but it's hard to make things at Konami, at least at this point in time. No, but Manny could just yeah. buy a studio, man. They could just buy it. They yeah, could just buy, they, they buy they could, Yeah, they, they could just buy all those hotels, all those pachinko machines, all that shit that Konami owns, all the real estate. They could just buy all that. See, motherfucker. See, here's the thing. Let me just keep it real now. Dudes are really fucking ignorant, man. Like, they don't know their shit. Like, they claim to be gamers. They're like, dude, you know Konami, the, the gaming division? That's a side hustle for Konami. That is not yeah, their main yeah. thing. That is not their main what? thing. No, you know? not what? Their, that is not their main thing. There, there's a whole other company in Japan. They're they're one of those conglomerate companies that make all kinds of fucking crazy shit. Like you know, t well, they don't make TVs, but they 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 uh, essentially um, what is it? They um, produce toys. They do all kinds of like you know they they uh, sell all kinds of other stuff. They have a, a spas. They have fucking yeah. insurance. Yeah. You want some yeah, Konami insurance? Yeah, go ahead, Chris, <laughs> Right, go ahead. exactly. Yeah. And that's redundant because Sony already sells insurance in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a, so it, it, it would, it would behoove Sony maybe to negotiate for individual IPs. Remember, that's what, that's where the value is, right? <clears throat> Microsoft buying Zenimax is to gather all those valuable IPs. Yeah, they get people and, and resources, the development stuff. Well, Microsoft has no problem putting that stuff together themselves. As soon as Bungie divested themselves, they just put together the, you know, 343, right? They just it will pull in talent and throw money at them and, and make their own studios. So they, they could do that. They're not worried about the people or the buildings or the resources. They, they want those IPs. They want that value, right? So what's valuable to Sony, it's like maybe, oh, you want them to make a Silent Hill game or you want them to make Metal Gear. Well, they have to negotiate for the IPs. They don't have, like Tony said, they don't have the capital to go purchase Konami, but maybe they could convince them to part with an IP that's valuable, right? Because it's like, hey, you guys are just slapping Silent Hill on a pinball machine. We could make a much more valuable property and we'll pay you X amount of money for it. Or the other or the other thing, in other words, they make, they essentially pull a license, like they do with Spider-Man. Right, exactly. It's like, it's like okay, if you're going to do this particular machine, hey, we had this great horror idea, like you threw away PT, we think we could pick that up and, and really make something great with it for next gen. Okay, and maybe hey, but, it's but, a few millions change hands and they but, do it. That, that's more plausible than, than Sony actually buying uh, outright buying right Konami. yeah but yeah, yeah. again I my thing is that. again Chris how is buying Konami the equivalent of buying Bethesda oh Does no it's not even close it, sense no, that didn't make sense that's just, yeah. that's just fan, that's just fan fan speculation because everybody obviously metal you know the the Metal Gear fans want to see another Metal Gear game but Dude, literally that to day that honest, happened, I saw Konami train. I'm like, why is Konami training? I clicked on it. I'm like, oh my God, are you guys fucking no, kidding me right you, now? You, you made the better equivalence with them. If you, if they were yelling that Sony should buy Ubisoft, that's a better yeah, equivalent. Yeah, that's a better equivalent. Uh, obviously, Sony can't yeah. afford Ubisoft, yeah, but that's no, a better equivalent. Go ahead, Manny. Yeah. But again, it's like you, why, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> damn, damn, man. Damn, right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's so, it's so silly because it's like, it's more, it's more fan speculation than anything. And that's and, about it. 
the only thing I thought, the first thing I thought when I saw that news uh, was, I was like, oh, shit, Brett got his wish. Like, Yay. it was weird. It, I was like, shit, Brett was just saying that. And then it <laughs> happened. I was like, how, how the fuck did that? It's like Phil was listening to the show like, yo, get somebody on the phone. Get Todd Howard in here. Dude, this is not the first time it's happened. I genuinely I was like, does, does somebody listen to our podcast? It's really important. Because... Hmm. I mean, Shemnu, Final Fantasy, and now this. Like, I have randomly called some weird shit. Yeah. Yo, does Todd Howard keep his job now? Oh. Yeah. I would suspect he does. But I don't think he's going to have, obviously, I don't think he's going to be the main guy at those at those studios. Yeah, I have a, it might be a weird question, right? Because Bethesda obviously has the Bethesda things at E3. So when E3 comes back, will they have their own show or will they be part of Microsoft's show? I honestly don't uh, know. Yeah, so just if I was Microsoft, I would put them in the Microsoft booth. Yeah, I would be promoting the shit out of Elder Scrolls inside of that. Yeah. Okay, no, no, oh, yeah, no more Bethesda invites them, you know, to their parties yeah, and shit. Think about this uh, when you guys are talking about like, oh, you know, after a year or two, you know, Mike and Matt was like, dude, think about how long Skyrim sold. It sold like GTA for like ten years. Yeah. Oh, Brett, there's a quick correction. Skyrim is still selling, bro. <laughs> See, and that, that's that's what I'm saying. Like this thing just keeps that had. Like, it, if I were Microsoft and I were you know holding the Game Pass idea, and I'd be like, okay, what game can we get that people just keep fucking playing? Like they will not stop it. They just keep fucking playing. Uh, GTA. Well, we can't afford Rockstar. Uh, Skyrim. Somebody check to see if we can afford Bethesda. Oh, we can. Make the call. Like I, that makes so much sense to me when they're taking, looking to do games as a service. Like, oh man, they trap the games that take you three hundred hours to actually beat, which is incredible for their monthly service. Like, it's just it's a killer idea, man. Yeah. Okay. I want to I want to say something real quick. Go ahead, Rico. To this, uh, th- no, I'm not saying that this isn't you know. Um, a, a great decision for him because it is um but i definitely do think in regards to you know the what if so uh, of what could possibly come out of it is definitely uh something you have to look also look into microsoft's um patterns since their existence uh, there's a decent amount i know uh, on sony side you could probably find some too um there are a decent amount of um, acquisitions that Microsoft has made in the past that didn't really amount to much. And in regards to video games and making them, you know, high quality, the, uh, on Sony side, they, you know, from the ground up, they cultivate them into making the, you know, great exclusives that you see. In regards to Microsoft, they pro- most, I would recommend that they need to most likely keep their fingers out of whatever, you know, create. Oh, they've already said they're going to. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you, say, you know how yeah. these companies go. They say one thing and then, you know, another I, thing happens. Oh, no, no, no. The, that's the how only, Sony goes. The only... The, no, 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 no. Okay. No, then, then, then what happened then what happened to... What happened uh, with Activision? Games? Remember when they said they're going to leave Blizzard alone? No, no, alone? no. That, 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 that was just a day. What was a What happened? Yeah. What happened? What happened to Rare? Scale, scale bound. There we go. Scale, scale bound. Rare made Sea of Thieves? Scale yeah, of these. Example and of what the were game they game doing games. before that? Making icons. Scalebound was a perfect example of a game that was being created and people had interest in it. And Microsoft told them to make the game a different way and it didn't work and it was canceled. So what I'm saying is that, yeah, I hope they, they say right now that they're going to, you know, let these companies do what they do and make the high quality games that they're known for. But, you know, as these companies have proven, you can't really take their word for it. And, you know, once they own something, they're like, oh, change that, eh, change that. I'm, I'm just hoping that the quality, especially when it comes to the recent titles that have been coming out of uh, the companies that they've acquired, Fallout 76, Rage 2, uh, the most recent Wolfenstein. These games aren't, they aren't their best games, you know, in regards to their most recent ones. Yeah, they have... Skyrim, uh, Skyrim that's still continuously selling, and hopefully the next Elder Scrolls can do the same. But you know, the, a lot of a, a decent amount of these companies, their most recent game aren't their best ones. Microsoft says, says well, "Your last game wasn't doing that well. Let's let's change this up a bit, just a little bit." Hopefully, none of that shit happens. 
That's all I'm saying. You know what? Yeah, yeah we will get in here because I, re- I was going to ask you about this. Like, because you were kind of warning people, or, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. You're like, hey, listen, guys, like, this is a big get, but consider my uh, Bethesda's recent history. So go, take it from there. Right. So it, it made me think, like, Bethesda and Microsoft had a really good relationship since, like, the OG Xbox, right? Um, mm-hmm. Because I want to say Elder Scrolls didn't come to PlayStation until oh. Skyrim. Is that right? No, they had um, Oblivion. Uh, on three, on they did have three. Oblivion on PS3. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, but I know they had it was a time something that Bethesda had was a time exclusive for 360. I want to say I think that Oblivion was a time exclusive and Elder Scrolls was a full exclusive or uh, Morrowind was a full exclusive. I think. There we go. That's it. That's it. So the first thing it made me think was, all right, now the same way that Sony is the JRPG box, Microsoft is the the Western RPG yeah. box. Oblivion being there was already huge, and now getting Bethesda, who kind of begat Oblivion being there, like that's that makes them the go-to place for that stuff. So if you like to play Western RPGs outside of CD Projekt Red, who's kind of above the fray with everybody, so it's really, really cool for them, and it fits their identity: first-person games, shooters, even their stuff that is story-based, like Wolfenstein, is still a first-person shooter, and even with those games being very good, the best games, the games that, that Bethesda is known for, Fallout, the last one was first Janky and Cash Grabby, 76. Um, the last Skyrim was, I, I, I don't want to talk down on a franchise and a game that everybody loves, because I know everybody loves Skyrim and everybody loves Elder Scrolls. I played Skyrim and Fallout 4 for the first time on my PlayStation 4, this generation, I was like, no, nah, that's okay. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that, you guys. It was janky and tedious, and those are two things I cannot have in a video game. You can't be... A little jank is cool. Skyrim was way too janky. The menus were too cumbersome, and Fallout was like, do I really have to check everything? No thanks. I'm good. I know that these games have like a history and a rapport with some people that means a whole lot, but I'm not sure the names mean a lot, but I don't think the games have been pulling the type of weight. Like Skyrim was PlayStation three, right? That, that it was that generation, yeah, 360 yeah. and play, mm-hmm. PlayStation three, right? Yeah. Has, have any of the games that, that Bethesda has released recently and that's Dishonored 2, the little standalone DLC that they had, Rage 2, Doom, Wolfenstein 2, the, and the, the Doom standalone games. DLC. Yeah. The Doom games, even the Doom games who have, who have been universally praised, both of them from this generation, they haven't been producing the the, the so sales. Just, that's what I just that, said. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, you got a big get, but you got a big get in name. It's like, you don't, you don't have that game that's going to be tens out of tens on most of the things and everybody's like oh i gotta see what this is about people who aren't playing video games are going i gotta see what this is about and that's why it makes me go okay this is great but it's not gonna really i don't think it's gonna take people who are gonna play stuff on playstation going okay now i have to change to xbox if you play stuff for playstation because of what playstation gives you did anything change in the last week if you like the single player games, if you like the um if you like the things that PlayStation offers, the the exclusives or the time exclusives that they get, the JRPGs, they didn't lose any of that stuff. So I don't know if it necessarily moves the needle. It definitely gets the hype going, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think it it quite just I don't know. Like it I and again, I'm not trying to throw salt because I know everybody loved New Vegas. New Vegas was like what? 15 years ago? No, it was last gen 2. It came out after Fallout 3. Um, 2000, I don't know, 2011, nah, I think it, it came out? 2010, I think. 2010, oh, yeah, yeah. 2008 it, was Fallout 3. Yeah. So it, it couldn't have been 15. Yeah. No, it's not. It's definitely not 15. I'm just saying, was it 2010 or 2011? It was one of those, one of those years. It's one of those years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Will. But yeah, so it's just, I'm. so what I'm getting at in general is, it's a really good get because the type of content it has that Bethesda has a studio are things that A, are already in Microsoft's wheelhouse, which is good, so their fans are familiar with it and they're excited about it. And B, it's something that PlayStation doesn't have, so you're not competing with them. You're not trying to, like they've got uh, Senua Saga coming, and that's kind of to try to compete with what Sony does well, but Bethesda, Sony doesn't have an answer for that. They don't 
to. They're just going to pay Call of Duty. Like, look, just let okay. us get some extra stuff before everybody you else. You said Sony doesn't have an answer to that? Yeah. Hold For on. Western RPG. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Damien said yeah, that you're. Dam, yo, by the way, Damien, you said that you're salty. Where's the salt? I don't. I'm not understanding where the salt is. Like Brian's being very reasonable right now. Um. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. No, Brian I'm isn't talking. They, yeah, that they, is true. B Will's talking. My bad. You know, but but but, but, but Brian is being reasonable though in his silence. Um. Go ahead, <laughs> B Will. <laughs> go ahead. I'm being an asshole yeah. right now. No, you no I, I, I just, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you saying, Rico? Oh, all I was gonna say is, yo, shout, hold on, shout out to a Nate Ben for subscribing, brother. Thank, you. appreciate that. Go ahead, Riku. Yeah, all, all I was saying in regards to the statement you said, it, uh, in regards to Sony doesn't have a response to that. But I, I think it's the other way around in regards to my. This is Microsoft's response to the fact that Sony had, especially this entire gener generation and even last, the JRPG console. You know, they like you guys said they basically just pulled. It, an entire genre to their side western jrpgs and what western rpgs um you know games like persona and like i said the trails and all that stuff there's dragon a lot Quest. of JRPGs on drag well you know yeah in regards to when it first comes out but yeah right, majority right. of those games people pick up playstations for so i would I, I think it was the other way around in regards to this is microsoft's response to that Hold no, on, I'm, 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 I'm just real quick. I'm sorry, I, I'm derailing the show right now. Demon, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? This is a Sony centric show. No, it isn't. We're a gamer centric show. Get out of here with that bullshit. Fuck out of here, man. Go ahead, real. We, we Damien, we have we're having this. We're obviously. What are we talking about for the last hour, Damien? We're talking about fucking Xbox. We're a Tony PlayStation centric show. Get the fuck out of here, man. Tony, the only Tony, people, the only Tony. people even on the side of like you know, uh, you know the 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 opposite side of that is me and B Will. Everyone, everyone right now in regards to. The whole Microsoft acquisition thinks this it's all hunky dory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Damien completely missed when I said this is a huge deal. This is the one of the big, no, easily the biggest thing yeah. that happened this generation. No, I, we're gonna skip all that. You're a Sony centric podcast. You're a Sony centric. But get the fuck out of here with that shit. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna stop before I get more mad. Rico, go on, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I trade a thought. Um. No, I, I would I would say in regards to RPGs because uh, yeah, wasn't one one of the um, acquisitions that Microsoft made, uh, grabbed was a uh, Japanese um, company as well. So that's good on their part. I'm not saying that uh, uh, for now on all of the Western JRPG is going to be on Microsoft and all of the JRPG is going to be on PlayStation. It's obviously going to be a little bit of both on each side with that Japanese uh, owned company. We'll see what they do with that, and obviously. Not every single Western RPG was under those people. You obviously still have the CD Projekt Reds out there releasing oh, yeah. their stuff on everything, you know, and, you know, it's so yeah, they're king of the hill. CD Projekt Red, uh, the, the yeah, best yeah. Western RPGs will still come to PlayStation because CD Projekt Red makes them and they will put them there. I, I yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not necessarily going to say CD Projekt Med, CD Projekt Red makes the best Western, uh, Western RPGs. But well, they a, lot do. Of people, they with it. a lot of people do. A lot of people do feel that way. So no, 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 I'm only not saying that, Brian, because I haven't played the game. You know, we'll play them, and you find. No, I will. No, I will. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Brian, 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 Brian. Brian, I told my friend. Like, no, no, no. Brian, I, I was telling my friend. Let Brian finish. Let Brian finish, bro. Come on. You have time. Oh, to you gotta play. let me finish. No, we can like play platinum like hundred hour games, but you don't have time to to play like Witcher three. Like, and on. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told my friend. I was waiting for um, Witcher Three because I don't want to play it on um, PC. Obviously, that's the best version to play in regards to performance. Correct? It is. Of course. Um, but I said I didn't want to play the PlayStation Four version of Witcher Three because I, I've seen how it runs. It doesn't is yeah, a little janky. ideal, yeah. you know. But I do want trophies. And I told him before this wasn't even was even. I told him this three like like almost two and a half years ago. I'll wait for the uh, the next generation version of Witcher Three to come, and he laughed in my fucking face. I was like, okay, I know it's gonna come, and it's probably gonna be closer, not not the same, but closer to how that PC version is running when it comes to the next generation consoles. And it did. So yes, I will be playing Witcher Three on PlayStation Five. Oh, 5, oh you heard it here first, people. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, me and me and Brian have a, a side kind. Of, no, it's not really a bet, but like a thing going on. Like I'm gonna play Witcher three, and he's gonna play Far Cry Primal. 
I think. Oh, that's, that's going on now. Yeah, that's going on now. Yeah, because literally, oh, okay. the, yeah, yeah. No, the, the, the last time I heard it went on the show. You said you didn't want to do it. <laughs> no, no. So but you, the thing is, no. But I, I told Brian if the day ever comes, I don't know when it's going to happen. If the day ever comes that I play Witcher Three, Brian has to play Far Cry Primal because mm -hmm. Brian literally. Uh, Brian said he wants a caveman game. Every little thing Brian wants out of it, I it's all it's all in Far Cry Primal. <laughs> I heard you the know? episode. You know? I just remember the episode. I just remember the episode going play Witcher Three and you saying no. So yeah. I didn't hear anything after that. Yeah. No. Yeah. See, that's the, yeah. I, after that, I was like, you know what, Brian? If I ever do play it, you know. Um, but again, my thing is, I know some people are telling me not to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with Witcher. I'm going to start with Witcher. Oh, no, don't, yeah. do it, man. don't do it, man. Don't and do usually, it. usually when it comes to me, I do that too, Tony. You know, I'm yeah. going through all the Final Fantasies and whatnot. I'm I'm not going to do that with yeah. Witcher. No, but here, <laughs> but I have a there's a reason for it, right? Because I heard that Witcher three. His combat is like terrible, so I'm gonna go with the worst playing Witcher. So by the time I get to three, I'm like, hey, his combat is pretty good compared to that shitty one, you know. Um, I still think she's smart. Yeah, you know, that's my reason because I'm like, yo, that, you know, even looking at videos like that combat looks kind of janky, you know. Is, um, is all this, is all of the stories connected? Like, who knows? Like, and you know, I'm, yeah. I'm the Witcher people here. Connected um, how exactly? Like, question. is Witcher does Witcher two take place after Witcher one? Yeah. 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 Oh, and, and Nate, I'm very aware that Witcher One is a horrible game, but I have it. May as well try it. You know. From a story standpoint, mm. do you need knowledge of Witcher yeah, One. It will be will. Um, Play. Listen, just no, read the wiki, I'd man. Say... Read the wiki. Damn. Yeah. Because I'm probably gonna just no, read the novel. Read the books. Free. Yeah, that's that's what I just said I was gonna do. I was, I was I was planning on reading the novels, and then watching the Netflix, and then playing Witcher Three. Does that um, make a nice order? That's actually my plan. Recouped. I mean, I already saw the the show, right? But I, I want to read the novels first because I heard that some of the um, side episodes are actually um, episodes from the novels and shit. You know, uh, which is pretty. Yeah, the cool. whole thing is. Yeah, yeah that's does dope. that sound like a, a a decent order, Brian, or is something should be swapped? If I remember things correctly, I thought the games took place after the novels. That's what I remember too. Yeah, oh, yeah. they take place after which the novels. Yeah, okay. Witcher 2 and 3 are CD Projekt Red made up their own story based on the history that happened in the novels. Mm, okay, got you. What about the what about the t uh the Netflix show? That um, is that's based on novels. novels. That's based on oh, novels. Yeah, it's based on novels, but if you want the well, if you want the authentic experience, then learn Polish. Yeah. And read Polish. <laughs> I've actually yeah. heard people say that shit, yeah. Yeah, um, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're getting off track here. Um, let's we'll just finish up on this whole yeah. Microsoft thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the whole Western RPG thing. Yeah, the people is here to think CD Projekt Red is the best in regards to making Western RPGs and whatnot. They they are still out there, you know, making games for everybody and whatnot. You know. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. Uh, Carlos, you didn't say nothing this entire time, man. I want to yeah, hear your I'm opinion. Fucking pissed. Oh, you're pissed. <laughs> at Whoa. What are you mad about, man? You mad at Damien? Because I'm mad at Damien. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm fucking... My, my hey, somebody link, lost, it, link in this chat in our chat. No, it's, in, it's oh, on it's, Twitch. It's on Twitch, bro. Is it Twitch? Oh, is it Yo, Twitch? Chat? Yeah. The, no, my team just lost. I'm, I'm just tight. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, Would the Yankees lose um, again, man? Nah, nah, it's basketball. Okay. Um. So, yeah, this is a big fucking deal. I don't, like... Who, like... This is like Tony said, this might be the second biggest gaming announcement ever. Yeah. You know, this is, you know, the, um what is it? Uh Sega dropping out of the console business is number 1 cuz you know Sega was, you know, they were fucking in a lot of people's hearts, man, and they just fucking died. So Question, Carlos. Yeah. You think this is bigger than when Final Fantasy 13 went multi-platform? Yes. Oh, beyond a doubt. Beyond a doubt, that, that shit didn't cost seven point five billion dollars. You know? Yeah, but yeah, that caused nigga. That, I was a nigga. Be, be careful. That caused <laughs> that 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 people to have. I give you permission. People on suicide, like, <laughs> legit suicide. Oh yeah, watch. no, no. We're not diminishing the the importance of that, but this is way bigger than that. Way bigger. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't, remember, we're, I'm looking at this objectively, not personally. Objectively, this is way bigger than that. You know, look, Rico. Let me, let me, let me. That let deal me did not analogy. cost seven point five billion. Go ahead, Carlos. The Final Fantasy news was like, oh, like, <laughs> but this, this fucking Bethesda news is like, and it just keeps going for fucking months. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. People still, talk about, people still talk about the Final Fantasy thirteen thing. 
Oh yeah, and people yeah, will talk about Bethesda. Yeah, and exactly. people will, um, and, and you know, and you know why? Because Microsoft's going to still be owning it back in in those days. Dude, this so, is going to be one of those moments. Like, where were you when you found the news? Like, it's going to be like that, you know? That's what that's what that's what thirteen was though. Yeah, no, it, get, I Rico, was, I'm not I'm not diminishing 13, that. I'm just saying this is bigger. I'm telling you, man. Thirteen, thir- that thirteen announcement was the biggest, you know, mic drop moment before this. Yeah. Um, but. As far as them owning uh, Bethesda, I I don't think they're. I mean, if it was up to me, I would make all of their flagship franchises exclusive to the Xbox, to Game Pass, and wherever Game Pass is available. I wouldn't have those multiplats. But I think the way Microsoft's been preaching is, you know, having them available wherever they can, and I think I think they're going to do the multiplat strategy at least for the whenever the Elder Scrolls Six comes out. Whenever um, their next big title comes, the next Fallout, maybe. Um, so yeah. By the way, I don't know if we've talked about this. There are we gonna? Is this his own topic? But is pre, the pre-order is a different topic, or is it yeah, yeah, pre-orders. Yeah, it's a different okay, topic. We'll, yeah, different topic. Okay, then we'll talk about that. That's actually our next topic, that. unless you guys want to. I want to get in line. Yep. Okay. Oh, so if we're <laughs> get in line for your pre-order. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Good. Um, are we Wait, done with this topic? Um, I think we're done with this topic. Let's move on. Um, oh, dude, dude, Carlos is still talking. Oh yeah, uh, Carl, no, no, no. Are you done? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll let Tony segue to the next one. I can keep well, going there. I'm gonna just say one more thing about this. Oh, I, I want to see how I would like. I would definitely like to have this conversation at the end of next generation to see what Microsoft has done with this acquisition. Yo, Riku. Yeah. Oh, by the way, just real quick, Riku. Even let's just say for the sake of argument, they don't do anything with it. It doesn't change the fact that this news is fucking big. Doesn't change. Oh, no, the fact, it is. You know, it, it doesn't change that. But you, if if nothing comes out of it, that's a, when when you look back on it and everyone's like, "Oh man, that was big." Then there's going to be that. But they didn't do anything with it. Yeah. All right, Brett. Last thing, and then we got to move on to the next segment. Um, I gotta say, Riku, man, you're doing a lot of diminishing. You're doing a lot of backpedaling. I've been seeing all over Twitter lately, like, you know. People, I've never seen a community go so quickly shocked from like everything's fine to the world is falling to no everything's fine again. Like I've seen a bunch of people diminishing. You know, like yes, I realize that some people don't think that their games have been up to quality. I realize their reputation has taken a little bit of a hit, but you guys gotta understand, this is still one of the heaviest hitting game companies, and behind GTA V. Elder Scrolls is probably the single biggest, most well-known title in all of video gaming right now, other than fucking Mario, of course. But like, uh, let's let's it is, chill. It is, let's go with that. No, you're you're, dude, you're over you're overestimating this whole thing, dude. Everybody knows what Skyrim is. Grandparents no, know what Skyrim is. You remember know, we, remember is remember when Skyrim went to, on the Switch and we had a bet that it would it wouldn't be on the top ten of the MPDs. I'm gonna, that I'm when gonna it came say out this. and you lost. You yeah, know what? It's you not know that what, big. Another? You it's know what another still... extremely popular franchise owned by Microsoft was? Halo. Kazooie? Where's Halo was? right now? Yeah, in regards to in regards development, man. See, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. I just got to say this, though. Think about it, because obviously Halo has diminished over the years, right? But right now, Skyrim, say what you will about it, right? One of the best-selling games, one of the most beloved games out there. When Elder Scrolls Six comes out, it's gonna sell Xbox consoles, guaranteed. Elder guaranteed. Huge, you know, Elder Scrolls is a huge franchise. I'm just, I'm just not ready to say that it's the second biggest one. Oh no, we're not gonna go that far. But, no, no, no. no. But, yeah. I, I, I didn't mean it, it, yeah. it's up there. Other than G, over the last ten years, other than GTA, other the, than Call, of Duty. Call of Duty, you know. Um, but we're not, let's, not Fortnite, let's not get into semantics. You know? Let's not get into semantics. Let's not get into semantics. Brett, finish your point, bro. My, my, my point is like what my favorite terms are. Man, that game is so ingrained in the zeitgeist. It is it is a huge get for Microsoft, and like you can't go back and be like, well, their games have been kind of shoddy, and they don't have the best reputation. We don't know they're gonna make a, a game. I um, mean, like you 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 then you're taking you're looking at it from the worst singular uh, possible angle, and yet there there are people and. I don't remember if you were one of them, honestly, that are, are calling, you know, whether or not this is going to be exclusive based on one line in, in a Twitter. Like, we, people are making wild well, assumptions off of this like, and letting their opinions fun. incredibly color, or their opinions incredibly color their perception. You have to admit, Riku, this is a get. This is a huge get. No, I never, get. I never said it was a, wasn't a huge get. All I'm saying is that in regards to 
some of the recent games that they have been making, like like I said, Rage 2, Fallout 76, Wolfenstein. I just hope that El- Elder Scrolls isn't up next where, yeah, it will sell bangers, but then from a quality standpoint, the, everyone's like, Skyrim was, Skyrim was better. I, I don't know. I don't know where Elder Scrolls is heading after this. All I'm saying is I hope that's not where it's headed. You know? But I'm not saying that, that to be where it's headed. From, you know what's probably, wild though? Like I said, from the, his, from the history of what I've seen in regards to both both sides, both these Bethesda created uh, games and the acquisitions that Microsoft has had, I'm not going to pretend like that didn't happen. You know? Okay, so you're, you are, I want to, I just make sure I'm this correct. You are skeptical about the games that have been announced and their quality and how they're going to release them and whether or not going to be exclusive, but you are 100% sold on the games that haven't even been announced yet by the Sony, but you know that you're going to want to play. Or like, how do you know yeah, the I next? Can... How do you know the next Final Fantasy is going to be any good, Riku? First of all, then I I'm I'm not even going to talk about like Final Fantasy. We could talk about like uh, an actual first party, like God of War and whatnot, something that Sony actually owns, you know, because you know in regards to the history behind that, yeah, I can I can almost guarantee that that will be good. Uh, Bwo, what were you gonna say, bro? You I said... think a Valve is going to be better than the Elder Scrolls Six anyway. Oh shit! Oh, that's, my, that's my hot take. Y'all want to bet me on that? We can I'm, we can roll back the tape in a couple. I'm just years saying. I, I, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm I'm just saying. Everyone, please level level the the expectations in regards to this. Uh, yeah, because people had such a high bar for quality on on Elder Scrolls games before. <laughs> we, they're they're janky, regards, we still regards, regards, what are you going to break them more the critic, critical acclaim yeah and you guys already said it's going to sell bangers so everyone's going to have their hands on it so everyone's going to have their opinion on it if it's you know not as good as um, Skyrim same thing with the uh, you know the whole you know I mean, that's been said about every Elder Scrolls game since Mara went okay like said, we'll definitely have this conversation in the future no, Lit, uh, Oblivion wasn't as good as Morrowind, and Skyrim isn't as good as Oblivion, and the one that comes after it won't be as good as Skyrim, is what people will say. But they'll exponentially sell more and more and get more popular. It's that's the way that it's always been. The circle of life. Yeah, yeah for, for Skyrim, you set up for uh, the Halo games up to a certain point. Yep. All right. We're, we're going in circles right now. All right. Uh, let's move on. So, yeah, the other big thing to happen. And again, here's the thing Microsoft, you got to give these dudes. And by the way, Damien, listen to my words right now, right? Because I'm giving Microsoft props, which I've been doing for months now, you know? Um, you got to give Microsoft props. They dropped that news literally the day before the Xbox Series X and S went on pre-sale, That's right? Time to announce it. Genius fucking move. They knew what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so the, the whole thing went out. Now, what I'm going to say right now is purely anecdotal, right? Anecdotal for you motherfuckers who can't crack open a dictionary. It means, it, you know, in my experience, right? My, my homeboy's experience, right? This shit went way smoother than the PS5 shit show, you know? Um, everybody, again, anecdotal in my experience that I know, Everybody who wanted an Xbox got an Xbox. Obviously, I know there's people outside of my circle that didn't get an Xbox, unfortunately, but we all got it We all, within the hour. I got my shit in like 10 minutes, you know? Got my shit mad quick. Me and Carlos, too. You know, Brett got his shit. Like, everybody got their shit. Mad frantic. It was frantic as fuck. Don't get me wrong. We had to re- refresh Walmart a lot of times, bro. But we got it. This shit went off well. And yeah, let's talk about the whole um experience, man. Because um, it was it was a big day too, man. Microsoft. This was the week of Microsoft, man. Like they they did. You know, obviously there's only one little catch with Microsoft, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, Carlos, get in here, man. What was your experience getting this shit compared to PlayStation? You know. So I knew ahead of time when it was going to come out. So that was a pleasant surprise. Um, and me and Tony made a mini blood pack to us, uh, <laughs> to try to get the console. Because, you know, I didn't decide on getting a... Uh, an, oh, by the way, I got an Xbox. Yeah. Ser- uh, Xbox Series X. I got the X, um, baby. Let's go. Yep. Same. So I didn't, I didn't decide on getting it. I was still on the fence. I was leaning more towards no. And... The Bethesda news put me over the top. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get it now. There you, know, you go. There you go. Microsoft, Microsoft. You know they're putting 7.5 billion dollars into this fucking company that that makes games that I love. Then I gotta I gotta give them some love, man. So that you know, 
as compared to to Sony, their messaging ever since the release, ever since the announcement of their next console, has always been on point and way better than Sony. Sony's like I'm getting the PS5 just because of it's you know a de facto console that I'm gonna play God of War, Horizon, and you know hope, maybe Uncharted, who knows, and Ratchet. But I w- I was still on the fence because I'm like. I'm I'm either I don't think I'm gonna get a, an Xbox because I can just play all those games on my PC, but after the Bethesda news, like I mentioned, that's when I decided I'm gonna get an Xbox Series X. So me and Tony talked about it, and I told him la- the night before I'm like, you know what, Tony, pre-order the Xbox Series X for the for the contest because I'm gonna pre-order one for myself. Yeah. And and yeah, the the day of I I woke up, I got on, I saw I saw like all the messages. I I have TweetDeck. TweetDeck is clutch when it comes to like getting news like really fast so i got on tweet deck and then i and i saw a whole bunch of links people posting links okay it's 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 online for for walmart so i got it on walmart and then actually i got one on i got one on amazon too i got two pre-orders oh, on the xbox series X. so we'll see we'll see what, how that works out um yeah right so yeah that that's my experience i'm i'm pretty excited yeah brett how'd it go for you man because i i hate you up like yo brett it's happening bro it's happening well, yeah yeah on this part. Well, let me let me yo. call up brett Oh, 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 excuse me? Uh oh. Let's do this. Up, Brett. I need a. Yeah. Let me, let me stand up real quick. <laughs> Damn. I need, to, I need to put him on blast. He, Brett, Brett Murdoch of the Throwdown Show, gave me shit for not texting him about the, of the, about the PlayStation news. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter, Brett, because if I would have texted you, you wouldn't have gotten it because those shit sold out right off the bat. And then. And then what happens when with the Bethesda and I texted him about the Bethesda news. I'm like, yo, Brett, Microsoft bought Bethesda all with, you know, exclamation marks, all happy. Brett doesn't text me like till like five hours later. And I'm <laughs> and he's like, This is fucking huge. And I'm like, come on, Brett. That was that was like five hours too late, man. I'm, my, the excitement Bruh. is already wearing down. Bruh, that's because Tony called me and woke me up with the news and I talked to him for fucking ever about it. Then he I did. got to my text yeah. and shit. Oh, by the way, just real quick, uh, segue, uh, John Christ, because I know you're new. Manny, can you explain what you do over there, man? Because he's like, what is he doing? Oh, uh, I'm a I'm an illustrator by trade. Uh, so I work on in comic books and uh, animation and uh, video games. So what I'm doing is actually working while we're while yes. we do. I call it making the magic happen. You know? I saw, I saw and you fish- Nate. Yeah. I saw uh, Nate respond respond to to John's question, and yeah. I kind of read it wrong, but he said he said. He's an artist, but I, I read it. He's an atheist. And I'm yeah. like, what is <laughs> an atheist? <laughs> Maybe he's really more agnostic. He doesn't really fall into that stuff. Um, all right. Anyway, continue, Carlos. Continue Wait, calling out yeah. uh, Brett. Real, real quick. <laughs> okay. Carlos, you, you right, man. Uh, I appreciate the shout out. Sorry it took so long. Like, I was just in a French. Like, I got warm cut up and worked into a tizzy that day. So it got me a minute. It took me a minute. I totally forgot that, like, I was like, oh, shit, I didn't say anything about Carlos. I was like, I'm still fucking excited. Like it was no, the excitement was not gone. I was fucking stoked all day about that shit. All I'm saying is, an hour after would have been nice. <laughs> fucking Carlos acting like a girl right now, you know. Well, it depends. How old Carlos? <laughs> right, right here. You'd be taking a minute to be responding to your to your boys, man. No, 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 that's right. That's right. No, what time do you send it? Because. I uh, put me on blast last week, so I got to do it this week. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's fair. I was actually about to be like, well. Thankfully, this time Tony helped me out. Like, get- nah, I'm just fucking kidding. Uh, uh, so no, I I was ready for this. Call yourself you a know. gamer. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I when the so- whole Sony thing went down, like, man, I was at work. That's why I like detested the whole thing where people were like, if you were a real Sony fan, you would have got one. Like, motherfucker, I was making money. I ain't got, I'm contaminated. I'm gonna reach over with bloody gloves and pick up my phone on the off chance that Sony is maybe releasing a console when they said they weren't going to. That's, that's fucking ridiculous. Um, so I they they said, about when, that. "Yo, hold on. I just imagine this. We're going Brett's fucking tattooing a motherfucker and shit. His phone was off. Oh shit, hold on, bro. I gotta get the PlayStation right now. This dude's waiting. And shit, <laughs> that'd be hilarious, man. Brett's our hands are all fucking bloody and shit. He's just like, I gotta get my PlayStation. He's getting yelled at by some dude and shit. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, continue, sir. Tony, yeah. you saw that video of the guy getting his hair cut by the Drake. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> cut my fucking hair. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Didn't do like tattoo me, man. Anyway, go ahead, Brett. I Ricky said he had something to say about that. Oh yeah, go ahead, Ricky. Uh, yeah, yeah Ricky's son one. 
Yeah, go, ahead, go ahead and defend PlayStation's release. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I told you I'm ready to pony up and throw down. You best be ready yeah. for it. We uh, defended uh, some all night long. This shit all show. right. Yeah, I'm about to justify the fuck out of it. Watch this. All right. So when it came to PlayStation side, right? PlayStation said that yeah, they w- they were going to um release the um pre-order for consoles on a specific date. That was Walmart's decision to nope. That's yeah, a misconception. Uh, no, you say that, the president I think of Sony them, Japan though. told them that they said that they left it up to the retailers to decide when they wanted to. So Sony of Japan told the retailers one thing, and then Sony PR of America told the customers another thing. That's not Walmart's fault. I don't know where you heard that. Everywhere I'm hearing, Walmart, Walmart broke the time in which uh, Sony. I'm said, pretty sure it was a tweet by. by uh, uh, so no, because, no, the, no. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Walmart broke. Xbox. They broke the street date, bro. They did. Yeah, they broke the street date. They broke the street date. Walmart broke Appar- the street date. And Xbox said, if anybody does that during ours, we're penalizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. If Xbox wouldn't come out and say that if you know Walmart didn't pull the bullshit that they did. When Walmart pulled that shit, th- then Amazon was like, well, we, we might as well do it too. Then Best Buy and then everybody and did. Target, un- Best Buy, un- everybody un- jumped in. That's yeah. when the unpredictability un- came in. Yeah, because remember, the, the pre-orders for PlayStation were supposed to go up on Wednesday morning, right? I don't know the time. If you guys could tell me in the chat, let me know. I don't know the time, but it was supposed to go up Wednesday morning. Tuesday night, Walmart said, fuck that shit. We're putting that up now. And then Target said, word? Okay, Target, GameStop, and everybody fine. went. A- Amazon was the only one. They did it at 1201. <laughs> they oh, yeah. were the only one, you know? Um, but and, still. And what I'm, yeah. what I'm saying, my group of friends in regards to the Xbox thing was actually Those completely ponies, different. man. <laughs> well, no, I don't know if they're. I think they're they're a bunch of multi-platform gamers because they wanted an Xbox too, and they said they were there. Um, but apparently, as far as I'm hearing, there was actually a lot of a lot more bots. Um, not not Xbox, but you know, bots. bots ready yeah, yeah, to, yeah. I got something to say to, about that. Go ahead. Yeah, ready to. Um, since obviously they know when this is gonna happen, they said there were a lot more bots ready to uh, take up the Xboxes. Since they knew when it was, you know, going down versus, you know, that whole like debacle that happened with PlayStation, you know, that just randomly happened and everyone just scurried to go and grab it. But when it came to the, you know, quote unquote, more organized side of Xbox, it's actually I actually heard there's a decent amount of there's a lot more bots that got their hands on Xboxes than, you know, the unpredictability of that whole Sony debacle, too. So you're saying, the, 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 yeah, OK, are you saying it's better to just throw it out there and shit and, and not even have a I'm saying both state. sides are bad. I'm saying both yeah. sides were bad. By the way, I'm real quick, saying, um John, let me see where is it where's his comment? Um John Chrysley says Nvidia added reCAPTCHA to their checkout process that helped a lot. That yeah, they all should have done that shit, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, you can't you can't you can't con- you can't that's you're officially weren't you officially buying that from um Nvidia store? Um, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why they can control all of the all of that. Uh, yeah, control. the other yeah. retailers don't do that. By the way, yeah. By the way, that. they did that. No, they they also did that after the fact, after that bullshit happened with the bots. Yes. Like, right. like okay, here's the thing. Say what you will about the PS5 and Xbox pre-order things. The Nvidia thing was way worse. Way worse. You know, which is sad because like, in, gen- yeah. in in general, in general, how they get pa- a lot of um, you know stores like. You know, I, I always complain about toys and stuff like Hasbro and a bunch of stuff. They limit the amount of, of um, you know, of buys per person. So will there be like two or they'll have like an additional checkout, you know, thing that you have to click in order to be able to, to get to the next page. Because, again, once the bots, once, you know, once you have the page already there and then the bots start hitting it, yeah. then it just keeps buying them and buying them and buying them, you know, and then they, they use they, they sell them on the third market, third party market. I'm I'm surprised we made it this far into into technology and and these uh, online stores don't have like a way, which which is they, like I said an e, a, a, an easy kind kind of re- relatively an easy fix to this. There's a decent amount of ways you can go about this. The, that whole capture way that is a very good way to go about it. I he, here's the one they made to stop bots. Here is the thing. Walmart and all these other companies. Don't give a shit if they're getting uh, run over by bots. You know why? They're still making fucking money. Yeah. That's why they don't do yeah. a goddamn thing about it. I understand that. Yeah, they so, make money like, regardless. It, yeah. It's the same. It's like, you know, again, I talk about the toy market. Same shit where like they release something at Target. 
The bots like literally have their ways with them. They're hard to get at the fucking stores. That's the same shit, but they don't give a shit about it. They're just like, all right, we sold about oh, we sold every single one that we wanted that we ordered. So there we go. That's how it is, man. I I, I understand that point of view. Mm-hmm. All right, B will get in here, man. What what would you think about this whole Xbox uh, pre order launch? I mean, I think they they had their hearts in the right place, but maybe they shouldn't have been quite so snarky about PlayStation's rollout because for a lot of people, and this is just me spectating, you know, people on my timeline or whatever, they were like, I didn't get one. I didn't even get a shot at it. It sucked. I had my friend didn't get one. So um I was surprised that it seemed like if you plan it and you say, Hey, retailers, don't jump the gun. Hey, you guys, there's plenty out there. All right, here's the time, here's the date. And then a lot of people still can't get it. Um, I, I mean, we thought PlayStation would have the problem with supply, but based on the numbers from the couple of people who talked, it was only, I think only GameStop put that number out there. It says, here's how many digital PS5s, here's yeah. how many regular PS5s, here's how many X's, here's how many S's. And the X and S's number stock at GameStop was lower than the PS5 numbers. Now, maybe Microsoft is just saying, fuck GameStop. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to screw them over. But, um... It, I was surprised that the stock on the Microsoft consoles was lower. That was a surprise to me. Yeah, he's... what was not a surprise. Go ahead, bro. Is the fact that both PlayStation and Microsoft decided to shift the numbers towards the more, more expensive console. Yes, I do not think that was a coincidence. It was a con. It's a very smart con because the people who are going to order the second pre-orders go up, they just want the new shit. They're going to buy the new shit. Just because they get a disc-based console, PlayStation 5, it does not mean they're going to just buy di- uh, regular games. They're going to still buy digital games. Tony was like, hey, I want a digital one. That's the one I want. Because he's been saying on the ever since we saw the digital get re- uh, revealed like a couple months back, he was like, I'm going to get digital. As soon as they went up, you were like, I had to buy the, the disc one because that's all they were fucking selling. Yep, that's Because true. you are still mm-hmm. going to go to the store, the PlayStation store, and buy that game. So they're still going to get that 30% cut of what you buy. You having a disc PlayStation doesn't discourage you from buying digital. And they know that the people who are early adopters are still going to, however they were going to buy it, they're still going to buy it that way. So it's smart. I didn't expect Microsoft to do it too, but it's smart and it's sneaky. And that was the biggest surprise to me from the launch. That that number from between the S and the X and then the disc list and the disc, that was the biggest surprise to me. Yeah, um, real quick for you guys who don't know, um, GameStop, right? They actually had like physical sales and stuff. You could go to the store, pick them up. The signs they were posting were in the single digits. Like they would have six X's, two S's. I am not exaggerating with these numbers. It was really low. And then today we found out that um, Sony only manufactured 25% of the PS5 they manufacture only 25 were the digital ones so that lets you know right there they want you to buy the more expensive one you know and and, and just like Bill said they know that guys like me are going to be like fuck I'm already here I may as well spend $100 more you know that's how they get you it's, it's slick you know it's slick they know what they're doing um, but yeah but here's the thing and I want to you know bring this into context right now I, was, I, I called Manny up about this shit because I was like yo this is crazy think about this right this entire yep. summer right what have we been doing on Throwdown right we've been speculating when, when are these consoles coming out what are they going to cost when are the pre-orders rolling out we were wondering when running when is this game of chicken going to finally end finally over like think about it like we've been talking all this time we're finally done all we have to do now is just wait for the consoles to drop. We, we're past the point. We know the prices. We know the systems. We know all that shit. So I'm like, wow, this has been a crazy ass journey. Like we've never really had this happen with any console generation waiting this long. Obviously because of the Rona and all that shit. But I'm like, wow. Just looking back at it, it's like, yo, we went through a crazy fucking ride to get here. You know. Um. So I w- I just want everybody to appreciate that because like I almost forgot it. Like at the end of it, I was like, all right, you know, whatever. It's like, oh shit, yo. We wanted this crazy fucking journey, you know, videos, content for days, you know, and I just throw it on. Everybody was doing that shit, you know, so it's kind of like a relief, like oh, we're done here. You know, we, we know that shit. Um, and of course, your boy was right about those placing five prices, man. Just saying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, let's talk about some more fun stuff since we're here. OK, one of my favorite things that happened this week, just because it was so funny and because I called it and we called it too. it, it wasn't just me, right? dudes were okay because we always said from the jump 
the the naming conventions are fucking confusing, right? Because we have the Xbox One X, then we have Xbox Series X, then we have Xbox Series S. It's a mess. Think about it. We're hardcore enthusiast gamers here. Even it was twisting our fucking minds, like what the fuck. So we're like, yo, how is Joe Blow gonna like you know take care of this shit, right? Um, we're gonna cover both angles, but just from the outset, like um, like not sales. The ranking of the One X went up that day went up right and there was but there were some people that bought the system going all like yeah i bought this shit i'm fucking like you know i got my shit you where, where the fuck is your shit i got my console and it's a fucking s or something like one s you know so some people mistakenly bought you know the one x and the one s because of the name convention you know and again throw down called it we knew that was going to happen you know so mm-hmm. i thought that shit was yeah, funny some people are trying to say, oh, no, it's because of the fact that uh, th- that one just got discontinued and people wanted to grab it up because they're discontinued. No, people, P- you, let's not bullshit here. You know, people got confused and they they were rushing to the Amazons and the and the whatnot. And they saw they saw the Xbox and then they got confused and then they grabbed it. There's no there's no way that when, when have you heard of a, a, con- a console being discontinued? And then a little bit after that. Uh, the percentage of it the increased ranking, by yeah. 700 plus percent. Yeah, It may increase by a little bit, but not no damn 700 plus percent, especially for an Xbox One X some, you know, or an Xbox One. Something that people, you know, majority of this generation have, you know, showcased with their wallets that they don't really want that much. Or it increased by 700 plus percent. Yeah, That's so the, yeah, obviously the name screwed everything, but we will say this though, just to be fair here, it could also be those same bots we were just talking about, you know. You, you <laughs> know, hilarious if bots accidentally, also, accidentally got the wrong also, console. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest, like we don't know. Um, well, you know, when you cont- when you do one of those bots, because I know somebody who actually did use one once to get something they wanted, and yeah, I mean, there could be there's a margin of there's probably could be a margin of error. Between yeah, there could be. So, like, it, 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 it could be a bunch of bots in there. Um, And, yeah, Damien is actually right. Uh, Amazon, they got their shit out real late. Like, because I got mine through um Walmart, like, within 10 minutes of the the pre-orders going up. It was 11 a.m. Um, Amazon didn't get them up for a while, you know. Um, But, yeah, I just find that funny. It's like, dude. But, no, there was this one guy, and I posted it on Twitter. I, made, I had to make fun of this guy. He was boasting that he got himself an S, right? Like, oh, how, you motherfuckers didn't get your console, but I got my shit. You got to be on it. It was the one S he was boasting about. People crowded <laughs> yeah, <I> saw that. <laughs> Hilarious, yo. You know, so um, proud. Um, but I'm I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with like regular gamers, you know, or re- not even get regular Joe Blow consumer this holiday. You know, when he wants to, you know, his kid goes, "I want the Xbox Series X," and then he comes home with the One X. Or I know, with the, excuse me, that was this continue. My bad. Um, I you know I want the S right, and he comes back with a with a One S instead. You know. How, you you can't get you know with PlayStation you can't get confused. I want the five. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. You know, um, X and S, very confusing. And it is because it's phonetic. You know, it's like X and S kind of sound the same when you say it in the English language. Um, remember that rumored um, Series V. Series V would have been better because at least V doesn't sound anything like X. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that, that was just really funny. Um, and the other thing, and I hinted at this, the kind of bad news that uh, we learned about with Microsoft. So a couple weeks ago on Throwdown, we talked about how um, somebody, I think, leaked the price of the expandable card. It was supposed to be around 200 something dollars or whatever. We're like, yo, this is probably going to this is probably legit. And it turns out it's true. Uh, the official expansion card for the. Um, the the you know Xbox X we just call them Xbox now two hundred and twenty dollars literally a little bit over two thirds of what the S costs you that is crazy and I'm telling you right now you, I'm t- talking to you ponies right now expect the same shit with PlayStation I realize they're not gonna have proprietary cards but those SSDs are fucking expensive so get ready you know uh, it's it's gonna be crazy man uh, Chris get in here man what, what do you say about this. Oh, the price of the expansion. Yeah, that, and that was um, that 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 was pretty obvious. Yeah, that that leaker was spot on. <clears throat> uh, expandable SSDs, especially at the speeds that um, Microsoft wants to have the data access at. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be expensive. I mean, there's markup too. Obviously, they want to make a profit off of it. But this is this is like harkening back to the 360 with the um the hard drive attachments. I mean, those were not 
very large storage drives, and they charged a premium for those, especially when they had the new, huh? The PSV. Oh, you mean the uh, like the memory stick duo? Yeah, but that was um. That's the thing. It's uh, actually, I think you're right because this is more proprietary. I think that Microsoft is having these custom manufacturing. They come in some sort of cartridge that goes in, so it's not like sticking an M2. Like you can just go on Newegg and buy um, something to stick in the PS5 eventually. This is uh, Microsoft makes this right, and but it's the same thing. Like I said with the 360, they made that hard drive attachment. It had a custom port on it and it had had that housing you couldn't just buy a hard drive and stick it in there you had to get it from them and it was marked up so yeah but the i think i don't know it's 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 too much i think like honestly like even if you mark it up like they should take a hit on that at least uh to to for for or they or they have to discount it eventually or make a a, um a a smaller one or something i don't know but i think it's I think it's kind of outrageous. Yeah, dude. Now we know why the S costs so little, you know, because uh, it doesn't yeah, have as much. Yeah, but then there. it bumps it up to an X when yeah, you buy does. an expansion. <laughs> yeah, you may as well just get the X if you're gonna cost that. If you're gonna pay all that money, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, next gen, get ready. I'm talking about for both systems. Get ready, paying a lot of money. You know, that is nuts. Yeah, we haven't even you guys anything. better start beating and deleting. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Carlos. Yeah, I think. I think the. Are you roboting over there? Am I the only one who hears that? I, yeah, I think robot. Carlos, you're roboting a little bit. Oh, am I? Am I still roboting? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, you are. No, I'll be back. All right. Um, All right. Well, say, well, go ahead. I'll say one more thing. Well, at least with with PS5, I don't know about the, the Series X or S. Like P- PS5, you can offload your stuff to just like a USB drive. Like you can get an external, right, and just put it on the PS5 right out the gate. So you can save costs like by swapping stuff out you'd swap stuff off the drive and whatever i don't know if microsoft allows the same thing yet um because that would uh, to me that would be the better buy than buying an uh, an expansion card i'd just be like hey i'll just manage the space like riku said and if i need to dump something i'll just dump something on a on a cheapy like seagate or what yeah, they you can you can transfer and you can right. and yeah. and then, you, then, you then just can't play them say, yeah you can't all right yeah. Yeah, I would say do that. I would, I would totally just get that. Save yourself like a hundred and something dollars. Just get a, a Seagate from fucking Amazon. Hook it up to your X and just swap the games out. When you're done with them, either delete them or back them up. That's yeah, it. check this out. John Christ says uh, you can go ham and spend two hundred dollars on a twelve terabyte Rust drive. You could do that too. Well, right there now. you go. Yeah. yeah, so you you could do that and. Well, you never have to worry about storage again. But like I'm saying, there's cheaper options than than buying that expansion. It's ridiculous right now. I don't I don't know if they'll ever reduce the price of it. I have no idea. But I just think it's outrageous. Um, I mean, it it would it would add the cost of uh, you'd be have the cost of an X if you bought an S and that card. That's ridiculous. I, I, I just think that's completely unreasonable. And if you buy the X and you buy that expansion card, well, you're in like the stratosphere. You get yourself a cheap PC then. Yeah. Shit is crazy. Um, <clears throat> all right. Anybody else want to say anything? Oh, B-Will, you got something to say about the SSDs, bro? I mean, it was just crazy. Like, I, I was thinking the same thing Chris just said. It's like, if I buy an S, which is, it's amazing to me. Like, I get they had to get it down to $300. So they took a bunch of stuff out. The GPUs uh, less. The RAM is less. And they were like, all right, but this will get people into next gen and they'll buy this. 512 gigabyte system like let's let's assume that somebody who wants to ask wants to play next gen stuff um they want to play game pass stuff so if you buy i don't know what's the current download size of like division two oh adam that's the whole thing is that'd be over 100 103, 103 gig how much 103 gig for everything for okay. everything let's say if you had uh all the dlc and you had warlords and all that it's, it's 100 all right, so if you just play really big games, games as a service, or even free to play games, because I mean they can get Call of Duty is already over a hundred gigs, so we definitely know that's going to be big because it includes Warzone. Exactly. Which is massive, so, so if you get that shit right, and then you're like, all right, these are the games I want to play. Let's say it's four or five of those big games, and that's all you play. You, then you want to have like Game Pass, 
because Game Pass is, is kind of the thing where you get access to all this other stuff. Now you have just put somebody who bought an ass who, who thought they were just getting into next into next generation into the whole juggling storage. And even though it's it's not that hard, like all of us here can do it, but I don't think the S is necessarily geared at us. You know what I mean? Like there's gonna be a lot of kids like, oh, I can't they says I can't download this because I can't play. I don't know. And now that you're gonna be selling them a $220 card, I, it should be selling people the X or Maybe they just have to eat that cost and go ahead and, and put a one terabyte in the S, you know. And but I mean, they made the decision; they cut what they had to cut. I, I was surprised to see it. One terabyte is nothing for any of these. It's not. It's not. Eight twenty five is not. Yeah, none of it is. So it, it it makes me wonder what they were thinking. I know that the SSD is like the thing that makes next generation next generation more than a lot of other stuff. But man, that that's like a lot of cost to eat, and I'm I'm surprised they went with the, a card that expensive. Yeah, it, it's hella future proof, and we can't t- tell you that for sure. Cheers, yeah, buddy. I think, like, ahead, like Chris mentioned, I, I, I agree 100%. And I think that's the, the strategy that I would tell, especially people who, you know, are running on a budget that, you know, these these things are not cheap. So get get an external hard drive. Um, You can get a, you know, four terabyte hard drive by it, like for like a hundred and some bucks. You can you can use it as as the middleman in between your games, so you can store all your games there, and whenever you want to, you can you can either play it on on certain systems. You can play your old games in the in the hard drives, as long yeah. as I think there have all to be the, uh, last gen. You can play on the hard drives as long yeah, as they don't I, have any cool features like the new features. Yeah, like even uh, I think that on Xbox they mentioned that uh, if they're three point one USB compatible, I think a lot of them are playable. I'll, 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 I think all the old games. Um, so I would do that. And, you know, even for your new games that you can't play on your hard drive, maybe you can store them there. And I think, you know, Microsoft's the only one that's been showing us like what you can do. PlayStation, I have no fucking clue. No, we don't even know where the hell those freaking hard drives are going to come from. Those SSDs are mm-hmm. going to come by. So, you know, get the get the the hard drive, big hard drive and, you know, transfer your games, the ones you're you have on rotation. You know, it, that, yeah. that, you that, probably it, fit only five about five games and that's it you also because have to take, take, take into uh consideration that um remember my uh, remember when uh when playstation uh said that when it comes to their hard drives don't go out and buy uh you know hard drives from these other companies as of yet because you know the specs behind it nothing has been fully announced and whatnot um and there's that there it's implied that obviously it's not just going to be just Sony making the hard drives that will be compatible with the PlayStation Five. Um, so, oh no, they they Sony won't make the hard drive. They don't they don't even make and, those, these. And and that's the thing though. If if it is coming from third third parties, would assume especially when it comes to technology, um, the hard drives that will be compatible for the PlayStation Five, uh, in regards to prices, they will most likely drop in price quicker than uh xbox's proprietary ssds uh, probably yeah, you know, yeah. halfway through the generation you're going to see some uh uh price drops in those ssds but obviously not at first yeah there's much more competition for the the playstation ones but i think the playstation ones might be even more expensive off the gate oh no yeah they definitely will i think they will be more expensive out the gate but i think eventually they you're going to drop in price while the uh, Xbox ones, unless Xbox drops the price themselves, which I doubt that will happen. Uh, it's probably going to stay around the same price. I I actually would agree with you, but SSD prices have not been dropping like in a couple of years in terms of the PC side. Like they're still relatively expensive for what you get. And as Carlos said, um, these might be even more expensive because they. Again, most SSDs on the PC side, they're around most MVM, MVM M2s, they are around Gen 3 type spec, which is just fine, right? Um, the PS4 ones, seem, they seem to be Gen 4 spec, and they only came out on PC last year. So these things are definitely not going to drop, drop in price anytime soon. Plus, you have the whole Rona. Fine, just up everything. Elaborate anytime soon, minimum. Uh, a good five years. 
like they will fall down slightly, but honestly, it'll be like. That's what I was mm, thinking. I was thinking around 2024, 2025 is when you will start. To but then, around. but then at that point, we may even have the next console. Though. Yeah, that's the thing. The so hence yeah, five years—that's a good chunk of a generation, man. Yeah, like that, like the end of the generation, and then Sony will say, "Hey." Yeah, six. remember also generations don't last five years anymore unless you're yeah. nintendo generations actually last seven to eight years yeah but still five years is a good chunk of that riku that's what i just said you know it is a good chunk of it but like i said it's still eventually gonna drop i mean it's gonna well, i mean it, five don't years for it drop for that fast yeah yeah but, well, uh, brian yeah, finish brian well, finish your point again carlos you jump oh, no, um I'm just saying that I just don't think they'll drop that fast. Like even if you look at um, SSDs that are SAT, that are SATA drives, so these are around about 500 megs per second, which is like a tenth of the speed of the PS5 one. They still took a long time to like drop down to like a decent price point. So these like M.2 um, drives, which are like stupidly fast, they will take a long time to just drop down slowly. So you'll be looking at quite some time. I, I think officially, yeah, you're you're correct. Um, I, I, I definitely see some time in two to three years, especially on a Black Friday. You're going to see some sales. And then you're going to see it all over the internet. Or you can get the, you get the freaking hard drive for your PlayStation 5 right here. Like $150, maybe $200 off. Get it, get it, get it now. I definitely see that happening no, minimum no, around no, three and a half years from now. No, here's, and here's, and here's, here's the thing. There, you, never, you never see $200 disc, dollar discounts on, on these SSDs. Like, not, that's not... Like I, I agree with I agree with um, Brian's uh, statement. I think it's gonna take maybe five years to to get a to get a price cut on these things. But even then, even with that price cut, I don't think it's gonna be even that much. I, I guess that we'll we'll have this conversation in the future. Regal, well, key, look, your favorite I, line. Go ahead, Chris. Well, yeah, well, I'm pinning all of them. I only I only would disagree because it varies. Um, a lot with um, the supply, like the 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 problem with uh, the SSDs is the rare earths you need to manufacture them are mo- mostly held by China, and that's why the China. the cost of it is so expensive. Like if there is, e- there either has to be another source of rare earths that, that can be leveraged to offset the price of the the SSDs. Or they have to have a breakthrough in material science in the next couple of years and make them out of something else that is not that doesn't need to be mined from the ground and and can be comparable in speed. So I don't know if that breakthrough will happen anytime soon, but I I would think that they you know everybody would try to get uh, out from under China's thumb and find another source of rare earths or something to drop the price, and that may happen in the next couple of years. And if that happens, um, and manufacturers can get access to that stuff then the cost will come down much faster if it doesn't then yeah it'll be like brian said all right man um and the um okay next story all right damien you're gonna love this story because we're gonna shit on playstation right now (laughs) hey so get ready man yo it seems like microsoft every time they release like some new information about next gen it's just great it's just fantastic right every time sony releases something some bullshit right now we have mm-hmm. spider-man right okay so and i'm gonna talk very slowly because this is fucking confusing it took us days to finally figure it out sony finally put out an infograph and shit but whatever all right so we know about Miles morales right and we know about spider-man ps4 getting the remaster for ps5 right so this was going on right if you buy Miles morales on the ps4 you can upgrade to the PS5 version for free, right? Miles Morales, right? If you have the PS4 version of Spider-Man, you cannot upgrade to the PS5 version for free. It costs twenty dollars, right? You can also buy Miles Morales and Spider-Man remastered for the PS5 for seventy, right? And the PS5 version of Spider-Man remastered is not going to be sold um physically it's going to be only digital only available on ps5 so that's what's going on right there so if you have your ps4 version you oh, cannot did i miss anything because again a little confusing did i miss anything tony could you repeat the whole thing about it being only digital yeah ps5 version of spider-man right the the remastered ps5 version will not have a physical release it's only digital that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe that's uh, it's $20. That's how much it's going to cost you, right? But it's just digital. That's it. 
you know um and apparently you know this is what sony says they said that the game has uh new um, assets new 3d models and shit new textures new trophies you know all that stuff so they're basically treating it as a brand new game so the way you got to kind of conceive it as think about last of us on ps3 to last of us on ps4 they were not connected at all you couldn't transfer saves or anything right because they were on different systems right i could buy that for the last of us because it's like okay you got one on the cell architecture one on x86 right but now you have a game that's on x86 on both so i'm maybe maybe i don't understand the technology here but this smells like a control situation to me we talked about that a couple weeks ago you know it's like why can't you transfer shit over this doesn't make any sense and remember i'm taking it back right now i don't remember what episode this was but i said i don't know how sony's gonna do it but they're gonna find a way to build you and make you pay for another game there you go. That's how they're yeah. doing it. Go ahead. They're pulling shenanigans, man. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Like, yeah. even if you add um, trophies and models and and suits, can't you just do that with the PS4 version? Yeah. They were already doing that. There was three DLCs for, for PS4. And, and so you have to get the game all over again. So that means that none of those trophies transfer over. I platinum that game. I have to play it again. Yeah, we got to platinum yep. again, yeah. you know. Got to get a second platinum, yeah, man. Look at the price side. Yeah, for the same what, game. Chris, oh, shit. Chris, don't you oh, get it? That's where the, the that's where the game. that's where the new trophies come in come in play. You get new trophies because you have to get them all over again. They're new. Well, oh, they they, they, actually say, they actually did say that there were, there are going to be uh um new trophies. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Different things well, to do. Also, oh, Chris, also, you want to know like the worst part? Oh yeah, what's that? Your saves won't transfer. No, they won't. Yeah, no, you, I, yeah, you got to start the game all over again. So I got to play that whole story, and I already know the story. I did all that shit. Listen, and it's also, crazy. Mark, Mark Cerny, I'm calling you out. You lied to me. Oh. You lied. You said I could put the, the you, that that PS4 was held back. That Spider Man could swing through the the city much faster on the new hardware. Watch, I'm gonna put fucking spider-man that i own now in ps5 and if he's not swinging through the the city at mach 5 and i have to buy the remastered version i'm coming to find you oh shit <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's right like yeah. james Silent bob i will buy a ticket yeah. to your fucking house yeah. and slap you. yeah oh by the way i forgot I to, I, I just quickly i forgot to add if you pop in the ps4 version of the game it's your ps5 you could play it but you ain't getting nothing no no yeah. no You're upgrades probably- Go ahead, Ben. You're probably gonna be running the 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 pro version of of Spider-Man. PS4. Yeah, you will. You will. Yeah. So that's what it's probably gonna be. But here's the bigger question, and nobody's asking this question. Uh-oh. So, oh, man, what's the question? On the ultimate edition of Miles Morales, um, of Spider-Man, that comes with PS4 remastered Spider-Man for you know, yes. for five. Yes. And it says it comes with a free upgrade to the next generation yeah. you're essentially buying the playstation 5 version and it also plays on your four yes i, I think does your, does your save transfer in that case for mas morales yeah that's the question morales. Yeah, yeah we don't know that so we didn't if you yeah. decide if you if you're playing miles morales on a four on a, on a normal four or a pro or whatever can you uh, bring over your save to the to the five, or is it the same situation? Yeah, j- just to illustrate a point, let's just say for the sake of argument, right? You can't buy a PS5 at launch, right? You got to, you know, there's no orders or whatever. So you buy Miles Morales on PS4, right? You get halfway through. Suddenly, you could buy a PS5. Buy a PS5. Can you transfer your save for Miles Morales? We don't know that. And and all this right now that we're saying right now illustrates a point. This shouldn't be this fucking difficult. This is completely insane that this is going on. It should be popping your fucking disc, upgrade, bam, we're done. Even if it's $20 upgrade, at least upgrade the game you have and transfer your saves, you know? It, it, it's it's a mess. And the sad part is, and let's just be completely honest here, Sony knows they're going to get away with that shit because it's Spider-Man. People are going to be like, fuck yeah. it, you know? And think about it like this. I'm fucking complaining about the shit. I'm going to buy it just because there's nothing else to play on this shit, you know? It's, 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 Yo, it's bad, bro. It's bad. Yeah. But can't you, you really don't it? need to buy um the, the ultimate edition of Spider-Man. You could just buy the normal edition of it. Well, that normal edition is seventy dollars. I mean, just because here's the thing, um, tw- I want Miles Morales. Understand? Yeah, if you want Miles Morales, you can just get Miles Morales. 50 yeah, bucks. no, but I also want the remaster because I want those trophies. Oh, okay. Understand? You're not gonna play that game over again. Yeah, I want those trophies, bro. Yo, man. <laughs> you know. I mean, if, if you want to be smart about it, 
you can, you can just you can just use your old uh ps4 uh spider-man disc put it on the on the on the new ps5 and the remastering engine will take care of it <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just play it on the ps4 you know and i get trophies you know i'm talking remember tony wants those trophies man wait you need you need playstation 5. you still get trophies won't you no it you can't play the PS5 version on the PS4 of Spider-Man. No, I know, but you can still play Miles Morales, the PS4 version, get all those trophies, and then have all the trophies from your PS4 version and just move the fuck on. No, but I can't get the trophies for the PS5 version of Spider-Man. They're, I have to buy the game separately, understand? Oh I don't God. think you're going to play the game over again. Manny, what else am I going to be playing oh. on PlayStation 5? There's nothing else to God play. Fall, baby. But you yeah, gonna, you gonna play yeah. Demon's Souls. That's what you're going to be playing. What am I going to be playing? playing Demon's Souls with us. Yeah, I will be playing Demon Souls. That's true. You know? okay, no. you got, you got two, then you got two games to play. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yo, Tony, you're going to be you're gonna be playing The Witcher 3 on that shit. Nah, man. I got, I'm going to play. I already told I'm playing Witcher 3 on my fucking PC, bro. You know? Really? You already know. But yeah, th- again, this is way too confusing, <laughs> you know? Fucking crazy! Yeah, this is this is this just keeps adding up to the to the long list of PlayStation fucking fails, man. They're, yeah, PlayStation L's L's, bro. They 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 don't they don't have a grip on messaging. They don't know how the hell to you know convey all these things to their customer base. But a ton of people are calling this out, and they did it anyway. They put out this infographic, like Tony said. They explain like they know full well what people's feelings towards this is, and they did it anyway. Yeah, they don't care. Dude, so fuck you. Seventy. Bucks. I saw and. I saw an article today on Forbes about, uh, and I swear to God, it, uh, you know, mainstream press, everything like that, talking about the return of arrogant Sony. And I was like, fuck, Brett. if that shit is in the mainstream. Brett. What's up? Do it. Say it. Say oh, it. uh, asshole Sony? <laughs> no, old Sony. Oh, yeah. Th- yeah, this is also this is 19. This is PS3. All Sony. right, time like, stamp, two hours and six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel I, I I hate to feel validated, but I feel validated, and I I fucking hate that it's gone that way. But what it it would have it would have totally been also because if Microsoft hadn't uh, swerved first and set the, mm. the the console prices, and I agreed with Tony one hundred percent, we would have seen a five ninety nine PS five physical edition without a doubt. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, totally. Right, totally. and then you could and then it would have been like, yeah, there's old Sony. It's like they don't care. You Rona, whatever. Get two jobs. Get three jobs. Whatever. <laughs> right. Just do it. <laughs> Buy the shit. Do it. I mean, I with Jim Ryan, I, 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 you can't Jim, Jim Ryan. Yeah. I'm sorry. My man needs to go. My man yeah. needs to go. Oh yeah. Uh, from a business standpoint, <laughs> this is a that was tactically smart though. Oh but yeah, it was. Yeah, business standpoint, of course. You know. Yeah. Th- because here's the thing: with all of the stuff that comes out about next generation, there was a lot of like bad that comes with it from both sides and in regards to how the ps3 um generation started yeah yeah they were they were um old sony they were big dick big dick sony right they're in your face they really they really didn't like let's settle down withhold any information from you when they slapped that 599 us dollars in your face like that right they were they were pretty upfront with everything they, they had and how did that work out for them it didn't work out for them you know they kind of got fucked by it going into this going you know going into this generation they probably saw that too like if we come out with all dicks held high they are gonna say no fuck that shit so them holding off and letting microsoft take the burn in regards to all of the new shit because they kind of did a lot they kind of did it this generation too when it came to drm you know, in regards to, you know, you got to um, have PlayStation and or Xbox um, authenticate to make sure that you own the game. You know, in regards to digital, if you don't have your account activated, you need to um, authenticate with PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. And X- I just Xbox had this problem. That- yeah, Xbox came out and said that first and they took the burn for it. You know, and then you know, PlayStation didn't really say anything about it, but they were doing it too. They, they, this ain't the first time they've done this, but it's, it's, it's definitely something that Sony has been doing. They, they are doing the same things that Xbox is doing. They just come out. They, they kind of let Xbox come out and say it first and let them take the. Oh no, not just that. They throw my, they throw Microsoft under the bus. They will make a statement like contradicting 
Like, do you remember like the this is how you uh, trade use uh, share used games with PlayStation kind of thing? Like, they came out after Microsoft had released cross generational thing and made a statement about how they believe in generations, only to have a longer hmm. cross generational window than Microsoft. Like, they'll they'll dogpile and then they'll secretly walk up to the side and be like, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. But uh, the sad part is it works because of the fact that you know how the internet and people go. They get really mad as soon as they see some some type of new change in regards to something happening. They get all they get all mad and riled up, and then they have goldfish memory. They forget, or they. they <laughs> I agree, but this feels like a Mean Girls situation or something like that. Like, yeah, it works technically, but it, if you were a person, you'd be a fucking psychopath. Shout out to the crickets. You know. Yeah, I throw it on trick. Yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm just talking about in regards to the masses and how it affects how they move. Oh, it totally it totally works. I I personally just hate the fact that it works. But yeah, no, 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 I agree with you. No, I agree with you. It's, yeah. it's, it's except for some dirty shit they do. B Will, what's up, bro? I'm getting here. Well, first off, I owe Brett an apology. Uh oh. Oh I listened uh -oh. I listened to this podcast from the moment that Mark Cerny made that talk. And way back in March, Brett was like, I don't know, man, I don't like it. Old Sony's coming back. And I'm I'm like writing pieces for the coalition, like, hey, just because they're not saying shit doesn't mean it's the old Sony. And then every month goes by and we don't hear shit. And Microsoft's making promises and Sony doesn't say shit. We control gets like hammered, or remedy gets hammered for doing that shit with control. Nobody says shit. And then Sony finally drops all their cards. And I'm like, God damn it, they're doing the same shit. Brett was right. God damn it, Brett was right. <laughs> I didn't want them to be right. I didn't right. want to be I right. I, I, didn't, I, I, thought, I really thought that Microsoft kind of setting the stage for them by getting out in front of them since last December. They were like, here's our console. Here's what we want to do for you guys. And Phil's all friendly and he's all personable. And I'm thinking, all right. Phil's getting out here, it at least will force PlayStation to kind of sort of do some of this stuff, even if they didn't really want to. So maybe we'll get some BC, some backwards compatibility from PlayStation 1 through 3. Did not happen. They didn't do it. They said, fuck you guys. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll get some um, upgrades from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. They said, no, 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 fuck that. You don't get any of that. You're going to get all the PlayStation 4 games in the PlayStation Plus collection, who the fuck has not played God of War by the time PS5 <laughs> drops? That's worthless to me. I've been in the ecosystem for shit. I don't know since PlayStation I, I One. Who that's for? That's not for any of us here. You know. I know. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah, I'll the wait for Riku to counter so I can cross counter him back. On Riku. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Because I knew that oh. the scene that Brian went out. I'm like, okay, Riku's going to say something back, and I'm going to say something back to Riku. All right. Uh, <laughs> be, be will continue, bro. Okay. So. I mean, I, I was, they did that. And then with the whole cross generational thing, hey, we believe in generations. They just said that because Microsoft said they didn't. It's like, it was like, I know you are, but what am I? But they were still just going to, they were at a point. They are at a point. It's very similar to the PS2 era. Like PS2 just dominated. It was single hand. It still might be the best video game between that and, and SNES for me. I, you know, I guess it's up to whoever, just opinion, what you think is like the greatest console ever. But they ruined it with PS3 because they said, yeah, we know we're the greatest, so pay all this money. Everybody's like, no, no, fuck that. And Xbox really had the better generation, even though they didn't sell, outsell them. They outsold them early, but PlayStation caught up. But they knew this time they had that type of market share. They had that type of power. And instead of being absolute dicks about it, they're just going to be quiet about it and not say shit. And little by little, as you find out what their plan for this feature is, Everybody's like, well, what the fuck is this? This isn't, this isn't good for us. Microsoft already told us that they're doing something better for us. Why aren't you doing it? And they're, they're not there to answer any questions about it. They're not trying to convince you that it's better for you. They're just going to, I don't know, here, it's on PS4 and PS5. Here, go play it. Damn, man, I, I thought y'all were learning something, but they didn't. Now, they're not as dick about it as they were in 2005 and six coming into the PS3. But yeah, it's... It's the same. They're they're back at it. They're they're trying to capitalize on this moment where gaming is this big, digital uh, sales are this big, where PS4 is in the zeitgeist. It made it. It, it got there. All those jokes and I talked to uh, like Charles a lot about this when they shout out to Charles Singletary by the way. Yeah, shout out to Charles yeah, Singletary. Out to Charles. You know, 
Go ahead, PlayStation bro. hit a point where they were the jokes in just regular culture. Here's what I do for my girl for that PS5. <laughs> I saw no what I'm going to do for that Xbox Series X jokes hit my timeline. Like that that place yeah. in culture was <laughs> something they're trying they have that and they know they've got it and they're trying to capitalize on it. They know that they'll never be more popular than Spider-Man is in film and comic and game thanks to the game they just made. So they're going to capitalize on it. Miles Morales. We just made that movie. Oh, man, people fucking love that movie. Yeah, we're going to capitalize on that. It's like they're just they're playing the I cards. Like that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch it. Yeah. You got to remember also all of this PlayStation news came out uh, uh, so close to its release. You know, obviously, they didn't want to tell you any of this shit prior because, you know, by the time you, anyone has any any time to, you know, not anyone here. I'm talking about like the masses. Anytime they had... Uh, Giving them any time to process all of this, all of the ugly stuff that you know is actually going on, it's too late. Go, go, go! Get the PS Five. It's out now. Go, 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 go! You know, and everybody's running, rushing up. Oh God, I gotta get one. You know, they're not processing all of the, you know, the bullshit that you see on Twitter because majority of them don't have it. They're probably on Facebook or Snapchat or some shit. I don't have social media altogether, and they just check the YouTube's and see that the PlayStation Five is out now. Go grab it. You know? Yeah. They. I mean, they they did a. It's. I'm I'm a little surprised because I know that this time around they actually they've got the goods like you've got the games right games have been selling like crazy you you had a knockdown generation as far as the titles that you made for your system and even some of the second and third party games that you made you didn't have to shortchange us here like I, no option for backwards compatibility like even if remember the rumor everybody's saying they're gonna like shoehorn it into PS now. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. I was like, "Yeah, that'll fucking suck," but I I take it. They didn't even give a sad. So it it feels like they didn't really try to give us the appearance of, "Hey, we like we 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 love our fans. We're we're glad you guys are still with us after all this time. Here's something everybody's gonna love." Just like for one thing, and they did not do it. So yeah, they I'm 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 personally disappointed. I'm still gonna get the shit, but I'm not gonna get it to like next year or so. Yeah, this whole matter thing. Anyway, the rebuttals. So, uh, Brian, um, Riku, go ahead. Have, have it at. Have at it. Let's go, Brian. Score up. Throw down. Okay, no, no. I'll let Riku go first because again, mine was about what Riku was about to say about why this PlayStation collection and who's targeted towards. <coughs> okay, so <laughs> Riku's getting ready right now. Oh man. Uh, no, no. In regards to uh, what uh, 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 Brian was saying here. Uh, he, uh, like I said, in regards to the games, you could just look at the collection in regards to the first, I would say, majority of the 18 games that are in there. Obviously, in in my opinion, I would assume that a decent amount of people here agree that collection was targeted towards people who didn't have a PlayStation 4 this generation. And and they're probably going to get a PlayStation 5 next year. I have a friend who has been on Xbox all this generation. He said, oh, I'm going to get a PS5. And he said, uh, I was telling him all of the games that he missed out on. And I was like, oh, you could probably uh, game share that with me and I, I could get you all of those games. And then when they announced the PlayStation Plus collection, in my head, I'm like, they, he doesn't really need my account anymore because a decent amount of the games that I was going to share with him are on that collection. So that that that's literally made for people like him. And he was and he was happy. He was like, oh cool. I didn't really have to go and grab a bun- a decent amount of the PlayStation first party exclusives because they're on that collection from jump day one. And it's high chance that more of that's probably what this PlayStation collector collection is going to be mostly about our mostly PlayStation related games. Unlike Game Pass where it's like Game Pass is mostly about everything, you know, multiply from this, that, and the third, but PlayStation collection seems to be more about um you know that the, the PlayStation related games. So what rebuttal in regards to that did you have? Mr. Monjoma. Oh sorry, I was on mute. Yeah, um, yeah, I do agree that this is targeted towards people that have not had PlayStation beforehand. Mm. And also, I, I, I would like to state that this 
as a whole, it's a good idea. However, the the main flaw is how many are there out there that have not bought a PlayStation that want to play these games? And that's my problem. Like that market is not going to be that much. Again, PlayStation is the dominant console. It's it's what like two thirds or even half half of the, half of the people that game on consoles. It's on PlayStation. So again, Switch and Xbox. It's just there. So you're already saying that okay, half of the people can't like they already have a chance to get it anyway. And plus, some of these games have been on PlayStation Plus anyway, so it makes it even slightly worse for existing owners. So then the other half. Like the Switch guys, Xbox guys. If the games themselves didn't make those people get go out and buy a PlayStation already to play these games, then there's not really much of a pool left over to try and get them in. Because then, because people are saying like, okay, these games are out there games, the games that are like must have games, but they're targeted to people that don't have them. So surely there's a reason why they don't have them. I would say, like the the name speaks for itself. It's them as a collection, not them, you know, individually. Firstly, and I thought it was second, individually. What do you mean individually? I I'm thought talking they, about I thought PlayStation they, collection. Oh no, you're right. PlayStation collections. Their, their answer to um Game Pass. My bad. My bad. You're right. If you get if you. By the way, how does that work? Is integrated to PSN? Like how does that they work? Said, they said that they're at no additional cost. All PlayStation Got Plus. You. Have um, access. So this I, game I, yeah. basically works ex- the same way as Game Pass. I'm not entirely sure if games will enter and leave the uh, this PlayStation Plus collection. I don't know if the cap is at 18 or will it increase or will it stay there. It, those are uh, specifics that they have not yeah. um, confirmed. Um, but I, I do believe also, and I would say I'm a part of this too, I haven't played some of the games inside there. Uh, has anyone here played every single game that's on that collection? I only haven't played two. I, yeah, there's like yeah. two or three inside there for me. So I'm not saying that it's not, you know. Oh, it, it's, by the way, um, Battlefield 1, right? And Until Dawn. But I own Until Dawn. So technically one game for me. Yeah, for me, I think it was like three or f- maybe three, two or three or whatnot. I don't say it's completely useless. Um but I, I I think in regards to the games that they add to this, I think that's that's more what I'm interested in because obviously it's gonna it's probably gonna be more PS4 games that are gonna be um, added to here. They didn't add every single PlayStation 4 game on here. Like, um, I'm one I'm wondering if eventually, like let let's say a quarter, maybe halfway through the PlayStation 5 generation, will you start to see PlayStation 5 games pop up in the game collection, like? the uh like demon souls for example by three or four years in, three or four years in you know demon souls is going to be considered an old game you know you're either going to see it on sale in the playstation plus store or it's probably going to enter this playstation plus collection i'm wondering how they're going to go about it in regards to are, are they just going to treat it like the last generation collection but uh, you know it, it, it all depends on how they handle it the counter idea that it's a little bit different both for both of you i don't i i agree that i don't think this is for um playstation consumers i also don't think that this is for xbox consumers i honestly think they looked at a bunch of games that weren't really selling all that much then they looked at what they were up against and they put out something that honestly doesn't matter to a lot of people but looks good and Curry's yeah. favor with PlayStation enthusiasts, leading yeah. them to believe that they will be taken care of in the future and that there will be some sort of Xbox Game Pass-esque program that feeds them new games, even though they've never said anything of the like. This could be very well just a one-time thing that's up for the first three to six months and then drops off and you're back to your single PlayStation Plus one game a month. Yeah. They have never said anything. I think this is all basically a lot of spoke and mirrors to uh, try and win back some of the fan appeal. Because if they didn't have any response to that, it would have just been shameful. So this is just uh, damage control, in my opinion. I, I would say it's, it's half. I think I, I think that what this is, is the the whole filler. Oh, definitely. What does that mean? The whole filler is that we have said this in general for both consoles. There is a serious lack of actually new titles for both consoles. 
If you look at the actual the actual the actual games that are made by Microsoft Studios, which is not very many on that are dropping with the original with with the new Xbox, and the same thing with Sony. Sony at least has a few exclusive has at least five that are going to be sitting there on the shelf. So it'll be you know, but again, it's like. There is a serious lack of things to play. Remember what Tony said not long ago. He was like, well, there's not a lot of games to play. I'm still saying that shit. So, and that's why he's willing to go and buy, rebuy fucking Spider-Man. Yeah, because I got nothing else to play. Exactly. So, I think this is not, yeah, I think this is a whole filler. You know, you have those Emotobot <laughs> games and you have the other ones. And he just, it looks, and just, as Brett says, yes, it looks very good on paper. It's like, oh, hey, look. And it also fills in the space of like, hey, if you didn't play these games, which leads me to believe with this generation, it's not going to begin officially really begin until 2021 or 22. Yeah, just like this generation, basically two years. Like you know? just, just like mostly, this generation. Almost every, uh, it was mostly every generation, though. Like those no, was- no, last year, this generation was pretty bad because we had the same games, you know, for two years on both um, generations, you know. That's kind of new, you know. So uh, I definitely think you know. Gr- granted, they do have a little bit. They do have their showcase, which is the Demon Souls and and uh, what was it, Spider Man? What was it, Spider Man? They have uh, uh, they have Demon Souls, Spider Man, Godfall, uh, Sackboy, Astro Bot, and uh, those are like confirmed release date and games. I, I think and I think Sackboy is a four game. I believe so. But it probably is. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank is not a, coming out at launch, John. That's no, coming out not. later. Yeah, talk about it's launch like, game, launch yeah, game. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's definitely to serve a few purposes. It's just to serve the, the fact that the serious lack of actual games that are on, on is going to be there at, sitting there at launch, and also to sort of attract people that have not may have not played those games, which is which as Brett said, it's and Brian, it's a little hard to believe that <laughs> that, that you haven't at least played most of those games. You even even I've played most of yeah. those games, but you know, just as we always say, right? Um, you, what happened, Regal? A lot of people here play a decent variety of games. You know, when it comes to Game Pass, Game Pass gives you access to a, a variety of games. You know, you don't have to. You don't have like like uh, Adam was saying. You don't have to go out and buy fifty nine ninety nine to try something out. Game Pass just has it all there. When it mm-hmm. comes to a lot of people who own PlayStation, I'm talking about the masses right now. They mm-hmm. don't really go out and play the Days Gone's or the. You know th- those those first party games that you know don't they don't sell amazingly well, but they they just sell decent and then they kind of just disappear. They I, they they I buy they... a PlayStation Four, they get their Madden, they get their Call of Duty, and then that's it. If game I... those type those type of people when they are already playing for paying for PlayStation Plus because they got to play their, their fucking Call of Duty, you know, when game collection there, you know these people who only fucking play Madden and Call of Duty and whatnot when they get tired and they see a the game collection, which there's a, I would say, an 80% chance they didn't p- play majority of the games that's on there. That's for them, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely for people who wouldn't normally sort of play those sorts of games. I mean, obviously, it's the right there, you know? sort of, Just sort like of Pass, the it's games right are... there. They're all there. So it's like, yeah. that's another, that's a, that's a nice handful of people that go out, they get a PlayStation, and their PlayStation is their Madden console or their Call of Duty console. But it, it definitely looks good when you say, hey, not only do you get, you know, um, what is it, a Motobots on your uh, <laughs> thing, or Playroom, you get a Playroom on your uh, on your thing, but you also get all these wonderful PlayStation uh, for uh, you know exclusive games as well as Call of Duty. About you know, like they definitely curated that sort of thing. Funny thing though, Riki, like that's that's a that just proves why Game Pass is just is the way it is because the. Th- Again, if if people are going to look at the PlayStation Plus thing as like, okay, these are like these eighteen games I never played before. It's like, oh, but Game Pass has how many hundreds of games that I've never played before? It's like, oh, wow, here's that's the you can, here's the thing: you can only play one at a time. You know, day one, you're not going to tear through eighteen games. By the time you get through like half of them, I, it, it, you know, obviously best case scenario you're going to hear about more games entering this collection. Obviously, worst case, in regards to what uh, Brett said, they take that Sony type of thing where it's a one-and-done deal. Like, you remember when they had PlayStation Plus and you could vote on when, when the next PlayStation, what the next PlayStation Plus free game could be, and then that shit just died out? So they're, they're definitely half and half when it comes to, this is a great idea, and then it went nowhere, 
or this is a great idea and then it did go somewhere they definitely do both um but if they want to compete against game pass which they've already seen is a success they would definitely you know cultivate more into the collection but have they announced that they will be adding more in the future or are you just assuming that they will? no 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 i i'm i'm assuming that I, the only reason i'm assuming that is because when you look at when playstation plus first got created remember at one point we were get you were getting um three playstation 3 games three playstation vita games and three playstation 4 games and they would continuously rotate out and obviously as playstation vita and playstation 3 stopped becoming a thing so did their rotation and it was only place they they increased the amount of playstation 4 games you would get but but for a while it was just playstation 4 games rotating in and out um that's no longer going to be good. games that's not um, the point is they were rotating out and what i'm saying I, is that to to assume that playstation collection isn't going to rotate out is that's a that's a i would say that's an iffy assumption to think that they aren't going to do that well that's so you think the thing is, is wait, right um the funny thing is i think that they won't rotate out i think that this is just here again as manny said to fill the gap Again, so you think this? Do you I'm, think eighteen games is going to be here and and nothing's going to come about it? They're just going to stay here and be there forever, and nothing's going to change. Oh no, yeah. they'll be there for six months. Well, okay. And then they'll start introducing new games two at a time. Sorry, I'm done. Go I don't think they will. But again, they, 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 they have PlayStation Plus, and like that's the whole point of that is that you rotate those games. Unless this is saying that there's no PlayStation Five games on PlayStation Plus. I hear them keys, oh, baby. No, like I said, play, I hmm. I feel that eventually PlayStation Five games will enter that, but the, that's no, I would I say mean, like, that after. I mean, like, I mean, like PlayStation Plus, like the way that we have it now, like you know how like they added P, um, PS4 games in there and, and took out the Vita game. Like, will they add PS5 games into PlayStation Plus? Not this thing that we're talking about. Play, play going into next generation. There is no PlayStation Plus free games. This is this is. The... Is that what they said, or is that what you're assuming? That, uh, as far as I remember, that's what they said. Wait, wait, hold on. What did they say? Because it sounds like you, both you guys are assuming to me right now. What did they say, Riku? The PlayStation Plus collection is how play, the the free games of PlayStation Plus is working next gen. PlayStation, they said that? They, I don't remember them saying that. I don't want to confirm that. I haven't heard that. Nobody else has heard that. So Okay. Oh, yeah. so, so yeah. so to, again, to me, it sounds like both of you guys are assuming right now. So, you no. know, I, I don't want to put out any false information out there. You know, okay. I'm just going on what Sony has really had habit of doing, which is that they have an idea, they half-ass put it out there, and then they don't commit and follow through. This is my biggest problem with PlayStation as a whole. They just put stuff out there. They're not, they're not willing to put the full force of PlayStation behind it to make it a thing. They just Put it out there they see what happens like look at the vita they put it out there and they weren't really too sure on whether or not things will do well hence they didn't really push out games for it and look what the vita is look at p um, ps on playstation 4. so they put out a system they should support the system don't leave it to die it's really annoying again well, I, i'm not saying that they didn't I do think it that the vita is that, an amazing piece of hardware like, you know i would say you, you're making it sound like this this is a consistent thing across the board that was the um, thing. ps ps vr playstation 4 would have PlayStation failed vr sold 5 million so it did very very well yeah actually but where is it it's there it's 5 million motherfuckers no, like no. yeah brian they're still releasing sorry. content for they're still, they're still yeah, releasing they're games still, every month they're yeah still re they're still releasing content and I, they I, also I, showed I, vr I, games for the five uh, yeah. during like the presentation said, earlier they have it on both sides where sometimes they don't follow through with things and then sometimes they do push it push it to the point where it is successful like okay. i said they're on both sides okay. and when it comes to okay. collection you can't really say it's going to you know, just like I said, there is a possibility that, like I said, what Brent said, there is a possibility this is a one and done thing and you're never going to see it again. But I don't know, man. Like I said, I feel this this is them trying to compete with Game Pass and they're probably going to cultivate this into their equivalent eventually. OK, um, take take a look at PlayStation Network as a whole. It was pretty fast when it came out. No, no I'm, I'm saying like, like as a whole, when it came out, it was really rough. And the biggest evidence that it was rough is the whole the whole name change fiasco and how who knows what may happen, your trophies may disappear and your name change may not even work. Again, 
that shows that when they made the network, they were not thinking about all these other things. They just thought, okay, let's put it out there and just get it out the door. Again, this is what I mean by they just have this weird track habit. And they, again, PlayStation Plus, they said, oh, PlayStation Plus comes with all these benefits that, that you can do all these things. And slowly, one by one, they all just fell off. Again, they didn't put any weight behind it. And this is what I mean by this is what they do. You said and they, like, yeah, they build up before they fell off. I'm not saying that PlayStation Plus collection won't fall off, but by the time they do fall off, it's probably going to be at the end of the generation. No, I, I but I'm thinking that Ryan. they won't because again, like they have um, God of War two um, next year, they have Horizon next year, they have Ratchet and Clank next year. Like, you what incentive do they with... have to say that? Okay, you know what? Well, let's just like still push this, even though that we want people to play these games. Call quantity. They already have the quality. Brian, you forgot the biggest one, man. Was that NAC 3? No, the GTA 5 patch. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's going to be a system seller right there. Um, yep. Ooh, snap. Yep. I mean, worst case scenario, these are up for a month. I mean, that's yep. not even out of the realm of possibility. Typically, PS Plus ga- games are up for a month. And I wouldn't put it past Sony at this point to have that deal expire before most people got the chance to get a PS5. Can I call I think, a spade a spade? Go ahead, bro. I think this will yeah. be up for like six months, like, to like a year. And then from there on in, it'll just be like, okay. By the way, this is us speculating right now. We'll yeah. take this yeah, as a yeah, gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Speculation. Like, no, I, like, I'm assuming that this thing will last no more than one year. That's it. In the future. Yeah. We're going to see how this turns out. We're going to be Riku, back. That's Riku's line in tonight. We'll see what happens in the future. See, we're going to see what, how we're going to yeah. come back to this Bethesda thing. We'll come back to this PlayStation Plus collection thing. What was the third thing? It was the third thing tonight. I said we'll come uh, whether whether oh, or not. Uh, yeah, it's just the yeah we're running the tape back, but um, Carlos, last thing, and then we're gonna start wrapping it up. Yeah, it just you know, it's it's all this is all a reactionary thing from Sony. They you know, the only reason why PSN Plus is a thing is because of Game Pass. You know, they they are, they are, they do this every generation. What's the move controllers? It's a reactionary thing to the Wii. What's PSVR? It's a reactionary move to you know the freaking Oculus and and the and the vibe. Oh yeah, the move. What, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. What's another what's thing PSN that they half pass put out there? Sorry, I don't think that they half pass put well, out there well, and get supported. The standpoint: the move is the move is more better than the Wii mode. And, so and why was it not more supported by Sony? It is supported by Sony if you have VR. No, why was it not more supported by Sony? That's what I'm saying. And te- and technically, the move supports the actually, VR, not more, the other way around. It was. It actually is more supported by Sony. It, it made it made it from the PlayStation Three generation to the PlayStation Four generation. It connected to VR as a, as a component. I'd say the more drag that through the generations rather than. Oh my God! So, it. Stop it! Stop it! No, nah, you got to give them that one. The move was actually you know what? pretty well. They, what is? And they took the move. They didn't really push any titles out there to support it. You mean all? Really cared about. Damn, you're all of the VR so titles you need media? PlayStation Move for. Do, do you need the move controllers to do PSVR? For some games, for some games. And that's the point. You can't say that the VR supports the controllers if there are some games that you can play without the controllers. That doesn't work. And I still got my PS4 yeah. play. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this hard because I'm already fucking bored of this shit. I'm <laughs> just being real. Like, what the fuck are you guys even talking about anymore? You know. All right. Um. So we have a contest going on, people, giving away a free next gen console. So if you head over to our Twitter at Throwdown Show, there's a pinned tweet. We have a question for you with the video with instructions, and just reply to it with the, you know, with your answer. We're gonna. Grab somebody at random and announce a winner on October twenty second, man. I believe Carlos was um what the round episode is that? Um let me see here. I did not do those types of calculations. Right. I only know it's Thursday. <laughs> okay, that's the third okay, the Thursday. I'll tell you right now. Okay. So next week is by the way, next week hip hop gamers gonna be on. Talk about the remastering engine, baby. It's gonna be v- very interesting. All right. So episode three oh five, six, seven, eight. So on episode three oh eight, throw down, we will announce a winner. You know, Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, we shall see, but we got you. We ha- I have both systems semi-secured. We never know with these fucking uh, retailers, but I'm going to assume we're okay now. Like, my play- at least the PlayStation 5 is okay. I don't think they're going to cancel it now, uh, but we got you. Either way, you're going to get your console this year. You're going to get your shit. Don't worry about it, you know? Yo, I have a question for Damien. Oh, yeah, Damien's been talking Damien. mad shit, but I, but I calmed down. I'm like, you know, let him talk his shit, you know? Damien, if you win, if you win this contest, what console would would you choose? You already know his answer. 
I mean, he already pre- did. He pre-order an Xbox. You no, know, remember how he he said he uh, his son wants a S. He's gonna give him the X instead. You know, take this oh. man. You know, <laughs> oh, that is true. Yeah, up- hey Damon, upgrade upgrade your your son's console, bruh. You know. There you go. You can you can game on the X. Let him play it with you know. Give him those yeah. twelve teraflops, man. What are you doing? Giving yeah. him those whatever five. I don't know what. The yeah. hell <laughs> John Christ and Nintendo Switch. That's that is that's not a next gen console, man. Get out of here with that. <laughs> you know, that's barely a this gen console. You know, actually, I still maintain that shit's a last gen console. Fuck that shit. You know. Um. So yeah, contest is going on. Good stuff. Um. Uh, before we wrap up, does anybody actually, Manny, pimp your stuff because John doesn't didn't know anything about you, man. Yes. Uh, well, uh, I work in the comic industry and uh, I have a book called Excellence Out, which I color with my longtime comic partner in crime, uh, Kari Randolph. Uh, we, uh, they, we're up to issue nine and uh, issue 10 is in the works. We also have a graphic novel. It's out. Uh, also, we have a free comic book on uh, from DC Comics, which I worked on, which is called It's a Bird. It's uh, from a thing called Represent. You can get easily um, through there. Just look for Represent and uh, DC Comics, and it's free. Uh, and yeah, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, I got we we just announced a, a we just uh, showed off a cover we did for um for for it was called Hellstorm which is which is this it was just a Halloween variant of a bunch of books so in, in October there's going to be a really cool a bunch of really cool like ha- Halloween variants of uh, famous uh, Marvel characters like looking like zombies and all kinds of other fun stuff so that one um Storm is like some sort of like hell demon <laughs> woman <laughs> yeah so yeah we got all kinds of stuff and there's still stuff coming along I, I'm working on um at least two books right now um, so yeah. yeah, shout out to Damon. He just subscribed, man. That's more money for us, more money for contest people. You already know. Yeah. Uh, Adam, do you have yeah, anything? That's a lot, Damien. Yeah, yeah. Well, Damien, that, hey, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Yeah. That's Barry gifting. To oh, Damien. shout out to Barry, like, man. Like he, like Barry gifted uh, the previous subscription yeah. earlier. Today. So Carlos, are you? Shout yeah. Out. Are you mad that he shouted out the Lakers though? That that upsets you. Carlos, what is this? A game? Is not a gaming podcast anymore? <laughs> you know. Um, anyway, um, yeah. Um, that is a game. Basketball is a game. Uh, Adam, do you have anything to pimp, sir? Uh, just you know, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, over at the Coalition, did the review for the WWE Battlegrounds. It's just fucking really long. There was a lot going on in that game. And then tomorrow, uh, Friday Night WrestleCast, uh, Clash of Champions. Every title is on the line. So uh, we'll do that show. And then uh, we have another big announcement, but I just want to make sure everything gets squared away for next week. Nice, and then, nice. Uh, I'll talk about that. All right. And obviously, I want to thank our guest tonight, Mr. B. Will. You know, always fun chopping it up with you, sir. Uh, what have you? What do you have coming up? I know you got some stuff cooking. Oh yeah, for sure. I got um, just one or two reactions to the news over the last week, and then a bigger piece I'm working on um, about. Sony's rollout over the course of the year in its entirety, kind of a mm. the how I'm feeling about that. So yeah, it's not going to be pretty, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. So you can catch it at thecoalition.com, where I'm same site Adam works for, and at will underscore right on Twitter because I'm usually over there talking shit as well. You know, yeah. Yo, by the way, I, I love your tweet. I think you put it out um last week. I'm paraphrasing right now, but you were like. It turns out in the end, Nintendo and Sony were the real villains. Something like that. I love that shit. Yeah, you know, man. I thought it was just Nintendo, man. But like Brett said, it's Sony. Sony came back. God damn it! Pulled <laughs> off the the Scooby Doo. He pulled off the mask, and it was Sony up under the fucking mask. <laughs> Yo, for real. Hey, man. hey, listen. Hey, listen. You can't. Bl- you can't. You got. Uh, you know what it is? It's because Sony got some new faces. That's why. <laughs> oh man. Why, baby? Man. Right, and of course, Mr. Riku Sun One, thanks for joining us, man. Where can people find you, brother? Yeah, at Riku Sun One on Twitter, at the Pony It Up and Throw Down on here, man. I'm yeah, ready to you know. be up anytime, anywhere. Well, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure we will have you back on, man. As the consoles drop, it's going to be crazy. Oh, speaking of that, man, I need to get up in like fucking five hours to fucking get that get them GameStop. You remember how they said, uh, yeah. <laughs> in store pre orders only? That's gonna yeah. be me outside. Good luck with you, man. Good luck. Good luck is who knows? They probably have like two PlayStations and shit. Man, I'm going up there at six in the morning. Yeah, damn, man. 
All right, man. So that's going to do it for us. So make sure you follow us on Twitch and Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube and join our Discord. You can find us on any podcast app by searching for Throwdown Show. Give us at throwdownshow.com to listen to past episodes. Links are located in the description below. Once again, I was your host, Tony Polanco. Tonight, I was joined by Emilio Lopez. See you later, guys. Chris Seeley. Hey, take care, everyone. Carlos Romero. Peace out. Adam Vale. Have a good weekend. Brett Murdoch. I only dig on Witcher because uh, to annoy Brian. It's actually an awesome game developed by great people. So, you know, play it. Hey, there you go. Brian Monjoma. Lots of crow will be eaten next year. Mm. By, who? <laughs> by who? We don't know. Riku Sun 1, the only one. I can't wait to play The Witcher next gen on that PlayStation 5. And of course, Mr. Brian Wilson. I also can't wait to play The Witcher next gen on PlayStation 5. Oh boy. All right, yo. Ooh, we'll are they s- fixing the combat? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Jesus. All right, man. We'll see you on Sunday, people. Later. Deuces. Later, Deuces. Peace.